Chapter 621 Chaos Region Translator Born to be Long Chen was calmly sitting in Xu Wuhan's room until Xu Wuhan broke the silence. Are you angry? Long Chen shook his head. I sent you away to serve a penal sentence in front of that many people. But you're not the slightest bit angry, asked Xu Wuhan curiously. You naturally must have your own reasons for doing this. I believe you won't harm me. If I got angry, it would just make you feel unwell. So why bother? Long Chen smiled. Xu Wuhan's heart warmed, but she became even more apologetic. When she had announced Long Chen's sentence, she had thought Long Chen would fly into a rage, but he had merely nodded calmly without even asking the reason for this sentence. It should be the orders from higher ups, correct? Announcing I'm being sent away for a penal sentence in front of everyone is, frankly, just convicting me of a crime. As for what crime? Well, they can make up whatever they want. Perhaps I'm colluding with the Mo family, thus harboring criminals. Or perhaps I'm not respectful enough to my elders and my arrogance needs to be curbed. They can make up whatever they want. In any case, their mouths are bigger. Since the heaven-splitting divine sects Guan Mayan has only just left, this matter can't have anything to do with him. Furthermore, I can tell the heaven-splitting divine sect style from our interaction. As for the ancient family alliance, the matter with the Mo family is still in an extremely sensitive period. They wouldn't want to blow that matter bigger, so it's also unlikely to have been caused by them. If my guess is correct, the cause of this is those idiots from the Pill Towers Huo family. They're the ones most likely to give the higher-ups pressure. As for the higher-ups, they care the most about profit. To them, this matter is nothing more than sending a disciple away for a few months. Giving a light punishment to a disciple in order to keep the peace with the pill tower is definitely worth it to them. Tell me sister, am I right? Smiled Long Chen. Xu Wuhan was shocked. Originally, she had even been stressing over how she should explain this to Long Chen. But now, Long Chen had guessed most of it after just hearing the news. In truth, you don't need to be so surprised. Up to now, there are only three powers capable of giving pressure to the Zhuanshan Dao sect through process of elimination. It's easy to guess who the guilty party is. You're not the one caught up in their schemes. So you don't think like this, explained Long Chen. Now that Xu Wuhan thought about it, it really was as he said. To Long Chen, this matter could not be more obvious. This matter was mostly because of the Zhao family. They acted as a go-between, advocating for this decision with their full strength. After all, it's as you said. They just want to have a disciple lower his head. They don't want your life. So they decided to give face to the pill tower instead of offending them to give face to a disciple. My Shu family fought the decision. But unfortunately, the other three families cared more about the benefits. And they decided this matter was a must. In fact, I'm not afraid of being laughed at by you. So I'll tell you that although you might be considered someone on the side of my Shu family, the rest of the Shu family also thought this was just a minor matter. There was no need for them to fight too fiercely against the others for this. Thus, they ordered me to sentence you. Furthermore, in order to make it so the pill tower could see it, they made me gather all the monastery sect leaders as well. Having me sentence you in front of all of them, Xu Wuhan bitterly smiled. She felt extremely powerless. She had been unable to change the orders of the higher-ups. On the other hand, Long Chen seemed extremely indifferent. As soon as he had first heard the news, he had seen through the goal of his opponents. Sister, I want to know what kind of structure the Zhuanshan Dao sect has. Sometimes you say higher ups. Sometimes you say the Zhuanshan Dao sect. What do you mean exactly? Asked Long Chen. All right, then I'll give you a general explanation of the continent's current state. Xu Wuhan told Long Chen that this world was called the Martial Heaven Continent. As for how large it was exactly, no one knew. The continent was split into five regions. The Eastern Wasteland the Western Desert, the Southern Sea, the Northern Source, and the Central Plains. The Eastern Wasteland, which was where they were, was so named because in the golden era of the cultivation civilization, it had been barren land, it had been just a corner of the world. The Western Desert had few people, but there was a mysterious region within the desert. As for what was so mysterious about it, Xu Wuhan hesitated and decided not to tell him. The Northern Source was also called the Northern Ice Source. It was a bitter land full of ice and snow. It was said the people there cultivated ice techniques generation after generation, or there would be no way for them to survive there. The Southern Sea referred to a huge sea area to the south of the continent. Islands were sprinkled in that sea like stars in the sky. There were countless cultivators there. However, when all the territory of the eastern wasteland, western desert, 
Southern Sea, and Northern Source were added together. They only took up 20% of the continent. The remaining 80% of the land was called the Central Plains. When she mentioned the Central Plains, Shu Wuhan's thoughts wandered far away. She said that place was said to be the true gathering place of cultivators. Even the headquarters of the Zhuanchen Dao sect was located there. It was precisely because of the power of the Zhuanchen Dao sect as a backer that Shu Wuhan didn't need to be subservient when facing the Yun family or the Pill Tower. As for the Zhuanchen Dao sect that Shu Wuhan had mentioned previously, that was nothing more than a branch sect that was located in the eastern wasteland. However, this branch sect was so large that it had 36 super monasteries, each with 108 monasteries beneath it. Hearing this, Long Chen's jaw dropped. He hadn't thought this world was so enormous. If Shu Wuhan hadn't explained all this, he really would still be a frog at the bottom of a well. The Zhuanchen Dao sect Shu Wuhan mentioned previously was the branch sect other than the sect master. There were four families that oversaw the 36 super monasteries. Each family was in charge of nine super monasteries, while the one Shu Wuhan was in charge of was the 36th super monastery, the weakest one of all the super monasteries. Hearing that, Long Chen couldn't help but bitterly smile. How had he ended up with such a fate? When he went to the monastery, he found the monastery to be the last place monastery, and now that he had joined the super monastery, the super monastery was also in the last place. This kind of luck was practically heaven defying. Long Chen, I'm sorry about this. Just treat it as three months of seclusion, apologized Shu Wuhan. After all, she hadn't even been able to protect Long Chen from this punishment. He, seclusion? Sister, you're too kind hearted. Long Chen almost called her naive, but calling a big sister like that was a bit inappropriate. With the temperament of the Huo family, do you think applying pressure to the higher ups was just to exile me for three months? What? Shu Wuhan's expression suddenly changed, her thoughts racing. I've heard of that chaos region. It's quite an extensive territory, and there are many minerals there. The righteous and corrupt paths, along with various other powers, all have their own territories there to protect their own minds. In order to maintain a certain equilibrium there, the righteous and corrupt paths made an agreement that sea expansion experts are not allowed to step foot into that region. But there are still countless fights there, as people struggle over mines and resources, let alone the corrupt path. Even the righteous path's powers sneak attack each other to snatch their resources. Furthermore, there are all kinds of robbers, and it's practically a paradise for killers. There are no rules to speak of there. Everything is decided by whose fist is stronger. By forcing me to go there, the Huo family won't even need to lift a finger. Just the corrupt path would do anything to kill me. So their goal in sending me there is to kill me, said Long Chen indifferently. Crack. Shu Wuhan's cup was crushed into powder. She was filled with rage. These bastards were actually this vicious. Now that Long Chen had said this, she finally realized that they weren't just trying to get Long Chen to lower his head, but to send him to his death. It was naive that she had thought that this was just a show of power and laughable that she hadn't realized before. She felt stupid enough to die compared to Long Chen now, and she had an urge to find a place to bury herself. She was embarrassed as well as furious, feeling like she had been duped. Sister, you focus wholeheartedly on cultivation, so your scheming abilities are weak, but it's precisely because of that that your cultivation base is so high. Otherwise, your cultivation base wouldn't necessarily be higher than Cao Qingai's. Long Chen smiled. TCH, I really have to admire you. Even at this time, you can still smile. I'm about to die from worry. No, this is no good. I have to go talk to my family. This is just a trap, said Shu Wuhan. It's not so serious. Isn't it said that sea expansion experts are forbidden from entering the chaos region? If that's the case, then to me, it's not a trap but an opportunity. This was truly an opportunity, but it wasn't an opportunity for Long Chen, but an opportunity for the Dragonblood Legion. The Dragonblood Legion's warriors now had a problem with their foundation, and they needed to undergo the baptism of a battle. Only then could they stabilize their foundations. If they didn't completely stabilize their foundations, then Long Chen wouldn't dare to give them the heaven advancing pills. Cultivating was like painting. Once you made a stroke, it was difficult to ever change it. And if you left behind a flaw, it would stay flawed forever. But what if they employ gold-ranked assassins to kill you? In fact, the corrupt path might even send celestials to kill you. It's too dangerous, warned Shu Wuhan. Celestials? They'll send celestials. Wonderful. Long Chen jumped up, his heart pounding. What he needed right now was celestial opponents. 
one celestial represented one heavenly day of fruit, which represented another celestial by his side. Will they really send celestials? How many? Five? Ten? More? Long Chen's eyes shone, and Chu Wuhan was dumbfounded to see that he even began to drool. Long Chen's eyes looked like the eyes of a hungry wolf. Just looking at it made Chu Wuhan, a sea expansion expert, feel a chill. Long Chen was practically a fiend. Her worries for him were entirely unnecessary. Long Chen, I really don't know what to say to you. Shu Wuhan bitterly smiled. At this moment, she no longer felt any guilt or worry. Perhaps the ones she should be worried about were the corrupt path. No, no, I really can't wait any longer. Sister, give me the badge. I can't wait for tomorrow. I'm going to gather my brothers and immediately move out. Shu Wuhan watched as Long Chen excitedly took the badge and left. She bitterly smiled. Have I really become old? More and more. I can't understand the youngsters these days. Chapter 622 Entering the Region Translator Born to be the Chaos Region was located to the Far East. The Eastern Wasteland was already known as a barren land, but the Chaos Region was indescribably desolate. There was not a blade of grass growing within millions of miles. It was not a desert, nor was the ground rock. It was a vast, earthen land, but there was nothing that grew out of this soil. Tens of thousands of years ago, there had been someone to notice mineral deposits here. This barren land, which no one had shown any interest in before, immediately became a land of gold. Countless sects flocked over from both the righteous and corrupt paths. The first thing to do here was to fight for territory. As a result, a huge war had erupted. Rivers of blood had flowed from both sides. Oftentimes, when the righteous path fought such large-scale wars with the corrupt path, when they lost a certain number of people, the righteous path would give up and retreat. But with the thick prophets in front of them, the righteous path erupted with unprecedented strength, and that immense war greatly harmed the core strength of the two paths. In the end, both parties had no choice but to temporarily put a halt to their battles. They took up their own territories, each side mining their own oars. Both sides had each minded their own business, forming a temporary sea sapphire. But although the battle between the righteous and corrupt paths had ended, a civil war had then erupted within the righteous path. That was because those individual powers all hoped to get more territories and profit. Because they had participated in the immense war with the corrupt path, they had lost many of their experts. They needed more profit to make up for it. As a result, who had helped the most and who had helped the least had become a matter of controversial discussion. For a huge existence like the Zhuanshan Dao sect, they naturally had to have a larger territory than others. But the other large powers also wanted to obtain a larger territory. In the end, no one yielded to anyone, and a battle began again. The Zhuanshan Dao sect had also tried to mediate, but it had little effect. Although it appeared like they had laid down their arms in public, the various powers began to stab each other in the back. If they didn't overstep their territories to Minor, they secretly played dirty tricks, intentionally collapsing other powers' minds. The situation grew more and more disorderly until the corrupt path finally joined in. The war broke out again. In the end, Everyone had no choice but to turn this place into a kind of training ground. Everyone agreed that no one was permitted to send sea expansion experts or above. The ore they could extract would be based on the strength of the disciples they sent over. As a result, countless experts were sent over to the chaos region each year. They not only protected their own minds, but they also often looked for opportunities to pull some sinister tricks. Over time, the chaos region became a completely lawless place. Everyone here had to live in worry. It was worse than living in a prison. Within the Chaos region, there was a simple and crude city that was simply named Chaos City. This was the only city in the vicinity. Members of both the righteous and corrupt paths would go there to eat and drink. Chaos City's most prosperous businesses were its brothel and casino. Any people who were sent here, no matter what side they were on, were all people who had made mistakes and were being penalized. There were also a few fugitives who didn't like being constrained. As long as you dared risk your life here, it was extremely easy to make a profit. Any miner could make as much as an ordinary sect's core disciple. So despite this place being extremely disorderly, despite the fact that you could lose your life at any moment, there were still countless criminals who gathered here. Buzz, a transportation formation lit up, and Long Chen's group appeared on the fringes of the chaos region. They saw an endless, barren land before them Novaloon.com boss. This is a bit too desolate. Guo Ran looked around. The ground was covered with dust, and an aura of decay filled the air. This place is just the border. 
There's no way to use a transportation formation into the core of the chaos region. Long Chen laughed. Why not? Because this place is just too chaotic. It's possible for a slaughter to erupt at any moment. There's no way to maintain a transportation formation here. TCH. You stupid brats. Hurry up and get off. No one can use the transportation formation while you stand on it. Just as Long Chen was examining his surroundings, a dozen Xi'anshan experts appeared beside the formation. The one angrily yelling at them was a man with a blade scar on his face. These people in charge of the transportation formation were on the side of the righteous path. They didn't belong to any sect their members rotated through to protect the formation. That way, it was less likely for anyone to destroy it. Long Chen smiled coldly. He walked out of the formation first. Men Qi and Tang Wan Er followed behind him. This transportation formation had been large enough for all the Dragonblood Legion to arrive in one go. Oh, these two girls really are beautiful. Little girl, how about you come with me? A Xi'anshan expert looked at Men Qi and Tang Wan Er lewdly, but he only got half his words out before Long Chen pointed his finger at him. A bolt of lightning turned him into a bloody mist. That Xi'anshan expert's death startled all the other guards. They had already sensed that these people's cultivation bases were only in the Meridian Opening Realm. That was the only reason that person had dared to take some liberties. They hadn't expected that a sentence from him would send him directly to the gates of the Yama King. Who are you people? Another Xi'anshan expert cautiously shouted, raising his weapon. It's not important who we are. Let me just tell you a simple principle. A loose tongue can cause a great deal of trouble, said Long Chen indifferently. Bastard, you really are arrogant. Die. Who knew whether it was because this person was given a boost in confidence from the weapon in his hand, but he actually stabbed his spirit Long Chen. He was clearly attacking with his full power. The void trembled around this spear. There was no choice but to admit that this person was truly strong. Long Chen didn't even move. That person's head flew into the air. His expression bewildered. He didn't even know who killed him. The sound of a sword returning to its sheath rang out. Yu Zifeng, you're getting faster and faster. Long Chen nodded toward Yu Zifeng. His comprehension of the sword Dao grew every day, and his attack struck incredibly quickly and silently without any sign. You, who are you people? Now the other Xi'anshan experts were all turned into wooden blocks. They had actually been planning on teaching these youngsters a lesson previously. Remember, a loose tongue can cause a great deal of trouble. Long Chen indifferently replied before bringing his people away. But then after just taking a few steps, he suddenly paused and turned to look at the person who had spoken. That person immediately stiffened, feeling like he was being stared at by a death god. In that instant, he felt like his heart had stopped beating. The sword in his hand fell to the ground. Where is the Zhuanshan Dao sect's mining site? It's, it's, it's. That person could only stutter. He found that his own tongue was no longer listening to him. In the end, he finally managed to spit out some directions. When Long Chen and the others finally left, that person couldn't stay standing anymore and fell to the ground. He was drenched in sweat, looking as if he had just come out of a pool. What a terrifying gaze. Looking in the direction Long Chen had gone, that person was still filled with terror. Brother Chiang, was he that terrifying? The others didn't understand. He didn't stare at you. Otherwise, you would have immediately pissed yourself. Fuck, I'm leaving the chaos region. I'm going to find somewhere to pass the rest of my days in peace. After saying that, the person walked onto the transportation formation in front of the other's bizarre gazes and then disappeared. Long Chen led his group according to that person's directions. After another thousand miles, they would reach the true mining region. As expected, after going over a small mountain, they saw some sparse, mud buildings. There would be one or two every few hundred miles. Within those buildings was a tunnel entrance, which was presumably an entrance to the mine. Before coming here, Long Chen had inquired about this place. Apparently, there was plenty of black gold or black gold was an important material in refining Xi'anshan weapons. If it was just the black gold ore, it wouldn't be able to draw over so many experts. The main thing was that black gold ore was something that had another precious material occasionally born with it. That kind of material was called Phoenix Blood Black Gold. That was a material to forge treasure items. That was the real reason why the righteous and corrupt paths would fight so fiercely. Xi'anshan weapons were for Xi'anshan experts. Above Xi'anshan weapons were enchanted weapons used by sea expansion experts. The special formations carved on top of them made them much stronger. Back then, the Yun family's patriarch had used a dragon-headed staff that was an enchanted weapon. As for treasure items, 
They were also sometimes called magical weapons, or even Daoist weapons. Their power was truly amazing. The Jade Sea Gold Bell was one example. However, it had been extremely heavily damaged before, or Long Chen would have been killed under its power. Treasure items were something only experts above the sea expansion could truly use. So it was naturally impossible for people to stay calm in front of the allure of such a thing. However, after mining for these many years, everyone was dejected. In less than a hundred more years, all the ore would be extracted. But that legendary phoenix blood black gold had yet to appear. So in the past few years, this treasure land had lost its allure. Since the phoenix blood black gold had yet to appear in all these years, it could only be said that there was simply none of it present. Otherwise, they would have found signs of it long ago. According to legend, in the immortal era, there were divine phoenixes in the world. Existences so powerful that a single flap of their wings could destroy stars. When one of them died, their essence blood would seep into the ground. And if the ground happened to have a black gold mine, then it could form phoenix blood black gold. However, even after all these years, there wasn't the slightest sign of it. The result was already obvious. So now, this chaos region was of little value to the various powers. As a result, this place had become a prison for disciples who had committed crimes. Long Chen saw quite a few experts on the way. They were lying down, soaking in the light of the setting sun. Apparently, despite their relaxed position, they were on duty. This kind of duty did look very comfortable. But when those people saw Long Chen and the others, they smiled sinisterly. It was like they were seeing the younger versions of themselves. Back when they had also been so naive, Long Chen ignored those people. Eventually, he finally reached a large building. This was the Zhuangshan Dao sect's mining region. Chapter 623 Pao Pao to the Face Translator Born to be the Zhuangshan Dao sect's mining region was extremely large. Their territory stretched 10,000 miles, and there were a total of seven mines. There was a large building in this area. This building only took up less than a hectare of space, but when compared to the rest of the barren land, this building appeared exceptionally grand. Who's there? As soon as Long Chen's group reached this place, over 10 meridian opening experts blocked their path. The super monastery sent me here. Long Chen showed the badge in his hand. Sent you here? What a nice way to put it. You were ordered here to serve a penal sentence, weren't you? One person received the badge disdainfully. Are you looking to die? Gu Yang icily glared at that person. Haha, <laughs> correct. Just how many people here do you think are looking to live? Do you see that building there? Go report your arrival. That person handed the badge back to Long Chen, pointing to a small building in the distance. His tone was extremely disrespectful. You let it go. Gu Yang's expression sank, and he was just about to give this person a lesson when Long Chen stopped him, bringing them away. Boss, why didn't you let me give him a lesson? Complained Gu Yang. It's not like you're his family elder. What would you teach him for? Do you really think he'll mend his ways and become a new person? Laughed Long Chen. But he was disrespectful to you. The entire Dragonblood Legion felt the same. Long Chen was a hero to them. People could be disrespectful to them, but they couldn't be disrespectful to him. Why would he need to respect me? He hasn't eaten mine. He hasn't drunk mine. I haven't given him anything. Why would any of them respect me? Asked Long Chen. Well, don't think that just because you're standing on a higher level that others have to respect you. If you have that kind of heart, you'll sooner or later become like those arrogant idiots from the ancient families. The path of cultivation is vast like a sea. Our current accomplishments are nothing more than a drop in that sea. Our accomplishments are still completely insignificant. As for that person, he was merely acting in accordance with his character. He doesn't have a good opinion of us, but he doesn't have a bad opinion of us. If you decide to give him a beating simply because you don't like his tone, then let me give you a warning. You'll quickly become an arrogant idiot, said Long Chen solemnly. Everyone was startled, because they realized that they truly had felt like they had changed. They were not their old selves. They had all gotten stronger, and strong people should be respected. They had forgotten how when they were weak, those arrogant fellows like Yun Wusheng, Yun Wushuang, Han Shianayu, and the like had caused them to feel extremely irritated inside. Long Chen's words were like an alarm bell. Boss, we were wrong, apologized Gu Yang. There's no right or wrong for this kind of thing. All I hope is that everyone can maintain their original hearts. Don't change that because of external pressure. We don't bully the weak, but we don't submit to the strong. Even if we have to die, we'll die with our spines straight. So remember, think before you attack. Don't talk about something as laughable as teaching someone a lesson. 
We're not scholars or anything. What responsibility do we have to teach others? Either don't attack, or force your opponent to the point of death. Don't talk about any other nonsense. In our world, we only attack our enemies, said Long Chen. Long Chen was extremely disgusted with these kinds of senseless provocations. He didn't hope for people like that to appear in the Dragonblood Legion. Stop. Where are you from? When they arrived in front of the small building, they saw a man reclining in his seat, his feet on the table in front of him. The Zhuangshan Super Monastery, replied Long Chen. He hadn't expected that the registrar would be a late Zhuangshan expert. That person icily stared at him and then asked, Name, Long Chen. The Zhuangshan expert coldly shouted, Do you think I'm blind? Are all of you Long Chen? This sudden change caused every member of the Dragonblood Legion to frown. This didn't seem very welcoming. It seemed they really were being treated as criminals. No, it's not your eyes that are blind, but your ears that are deaf. Long Chen suddenly laughed. What nonsense pow, pow. Before he could say any more, Long Chen slapped him across the face, and then feeling like that wasn't enough, he also slapped him again with the back of his palm. Long Chen held back his strength. If he didn't, one slap would cause this person's head to explode. And yet, even when controlling his strength, the person's jaw shattered and he screamed. Then being kicked in the stomach by Long Chen, he vomited a mouthful of blood. The Dragonblood Legion's warriors were all completely startled. What was their boss doing? Was he preparing to rebel? Long Chen threw the Xi'anshan expert to the ground and placed his foot on his stomach, sneering. Do you still want to say anything? You. Are. Courting. PFFT. The Xi'anshan expert wasn't able to spit out his last word because Long Chen increased his strength, causing him to vomit blood. You wanted to say that I'm courting death? I don't know whether or not I'm courting death, but I do know you are very close to death. Do you think I'm an idiot? Is it possible you didn't get the slightest news that I was to be exiled here? Since you knew, and you intentionally wanted to pick a quarrel with me, I really have to admire your courage. I, Long Chen, very much admire experts. But first, I need to confirm whether or not you're really an expert. So sorry, but please bear with me. Long Chen pushed down with his foot seven times with different forces, causing that Xi'anshan expert to release a heart-rending cry. Hey. Singing so off-key isn't in line with an expert's mannerism. Long Chen shook his head. Stop. Suddenly, a cold cry rang out, and a middle-aged man in white robes appeared before Long Chen with a gloomy expression. This person's face was pockmarked, and his skin was dark, looking like sesame seeds sprinkled over a bun. However, his dark skin made it so that unless you looked closely, you wouldn't be able to see those pockmarks. Perhaps his parents had known he would have such a face and so they intentionally made him with darker skin? half step -E expansion? He, he should be the one in charge. A-H-H. Long Chen didn't stop pushing down on the Xi'anshan expert with his foot. Under Long Chen's foot, that man sang in high spirits, but his singing was a bit mournful, sounding like scraping iron. How brazen. Long Chen, do you think this place is the super monastery? Shouted the half step -E expansion expert. He. As expected, you knew I would come, to put on this act when I reported my arrival. Were you trying to intimidate me? If my guess isn't wrong, you must be someone from this how family Long Chen slowly released his foot. That person's eyes rolled into the back of his head as he blissfully fainted. Long Chen had applied his force extremely insidiously. He had first broken a portion of his nervous system, making it so until he let him, no matter how much pain he was in, he would be unable to faint. Long Chen. You were sent here to atone for your sins. It'd be best for you to be aware of your status pow. The pockmarked man was sent flying by a slap in the face. Let alone in a situation where he didn't expect Long Chen would attack him. Even if he was fully prepared. At this distance. He wouldn't stand a chance of dodging. Who was the god of face slapping? Everyone in the Zhuangshan Super Monastery would point to Long Chen. There was not a single person in the Super Monastery who wasn't aware of that fact. His attack was clean. Efficient fast, and there was no sign at all before he struck. There wasn't even the slightest killing intent. Countless people had fallen to this technique of his. You. Pow. The pockmarked man only barely steadied himself and was just about to release his aura when Long Chen's hand tightly clenched his neck. Do you know? Crushing you isn't more difficult than crushing an ant. Long Chen indifferently looked at the pockmarked man. Bastard. Release the district chief. Suddenly, countless experts appeared from within the building. There were actually thousands of people, their hands carrying large crossbows that were pointed at Long Chen and the others. 
Those crossbows all had spirit stones embedded in them, and they were extremely powerful. If they were caught off guard, even a Xi'anchen expert would die. And with this many people, even half step expansion experts would be killed. These were the weapons the Zuanchen Super Monastery used to protect their minds, an extremely strong deterrence for enemies. In fact, their enemies had been repelled several times by this defense. And yet, Long Chen slapped the pockmarked man twice more, acting as if he hadn't heard. He asked, What did you say, bastard? Quickly release the district chief. Otherwise, we'll immediately kill you all, raged a late Xi'anchen elder, pointing his crossbow at him. The dragonblood warriors were emotionlessly looking back at them, not even deigning to look at their crossbows. In fact, there seemed to be faint ridicule on their faces. Who did they think they were trying to trick? As soon as they released this hostage, wouldn't they be turned into fish caught in a net? What did you say at the beginning? Asked Long Chen. At the beginning? I said to release the district chief. Before that, bastard. The elder was a bit confused. Yes, that's the word. Pow, pow, pow. Long Chen slapped the pockmarked man 16 times in a row. His head now looked like a pig's head. Boss the elder was just about to rage when he saw Long Chen raise his hand again, and he swallowed the rest of his word. All the experts were now stupefied. This was too unreasonable. The chaos region wasn't lacking in experts, but there had never been such a person. A grand half step C expansion expert was caught in the grasp of a mere youngster, and this youngster was continuously slapping him in the face while ignoring them. What do you want to release? Pow, pow. Long Chen raised his hand and slapped him in the face four more times. You. I didn't even curse anyone. Why would you hit him? Raged the elder. Oh, so sorry. It was a habit. Apologized Long Chen extremely sincerely. This apology almost made the elder explode from rage. Long Chen ignored them and looked at the pockmarked man. He icily asked, Are you from the Zhao family chapter 624 Chaos City translator? Born to be after asking this, Long Chen loosened his grip slightly so that he could respond but could not release any power. Long Chen, how dare you treat me like this? You, pow. Long Chen raised his hand and gave him another bout of slaps to the face. He continued, are you from the Zhao family Long Chen? Pow. Long Chen continued with his slaps. This time there were 16 slaps, but instead of taking the time to blink between slaps, he increased the speed. It seemed Long Chen's technique was rapidly advancing. Your answer was beside the point. Let me ask you again. Are you from the Zhao family? No. Pow. Do you think I'd believe you? I'll ask again. Are you from the Zhao family? Yes. With his throat in Long Chen's grasp, the pockmarked man didn't have the slightest ability to resist. His life was in Long Chen's hands, and he had no choice but to speak the truth. Pow. Another burst of slaps came and Long Chen sneered. Good. Good. Then I wasn't wrong to slap you. Now, whether it was the Dragonblood Warriors or the experts guarding the mines, everyone was stupefied. What game was he playing? No matter what the reply was, he would give him a burst of slaps. These guards all looked at Long Chen with bewilderment. Long Chen, what do you want? The pockmarked man's face was so swollen that he could barely see out of one eye. His lips looked like a foot, and his voice was extremely unclear. It's not what I want, but what yours how family wants. As soon as I came, you wanted to intimidate me. Later, was the plan to make things hard for me in every single aspect of life here? It seems you're counting your chickens before they're hatched. Regretfully, I don't like being bullied. When you talk to me in the future, it'd be best for you to be more obedient. After saying that, he threw him to the ground. The pockmarked man immediately got up and retreated. Thousands of crossbows now pointed at Long Chen and the others. The mechanisms had already been activated and they could shoot at any moment. Long Chen clasped his hands behind his back, indifferently looking at them. He wasn't afraid of these crossbows as he had the strength to completely block them. What he wanted was to test something. The pockmarked man's face had been practically turned into a pig's head. He felt like it wasn't even his own face. This humiliation caused his fury to soar, and his killing intent surged out. Although he had known Long Chen was strong, he hadn't thought Long Chen would have reached this level. He wasn't able to resist at all. He had heard that Long Chen was able to easily kill half step C expansion experts, but he hadn't seen the photographic jades of his fights, so he had scoffed at that news. How could a brat who hadn't even reached his 20s be so amazing? He had originally been thinking of challenging Long Chen to a fight. Now, that confidence of his was shattered. He didn't have the slightest thought of challenging Long Chen to a fight again. 
but with over a thousand of these special crossbows pointed at Long Chen. As long as he gave the order, he was confident that Long Chen would be killed. And yet, he suppressed that urge. Instead pointing at Long Chen. Long Chen. I, Zhao Khan, will remember this matter. I'll settle our debts when I have a chance. Then, in front of everyone's shocked gazes, he turned and left like a coward. As for Long Chen, upon seeing this, he narrowed his eyes. As expected, this matter isn't so simple. This whole chaos region is one big trap. Hey, who's supposed to receive us? Get us our residences. Also, I'm tired from travel and want to rest. Prepare a bath, shouted Guo Ran. Surprisingly, someone really did walk out. He was in his thirties and only at Meridian opening. From his gaze, he seemed like an astute person. He was in charge of receiving Long Chen and the others. Although this particular mining site only took up a hectare of space, the living conditions were still all right. This person found a large building just for Long Chen and the others. It was enough for the entire Dragonblood Legion. They finally had a chance to settle down. Crack. A delicate teacup was viciously thrown to the ground which caused it to shatter. The pockmarked man was currently venting. Long Chen, you little bastard. I'll definitely make you die a tragic death. Zhao Kun's voice was full of hate. Third uncle, calm down. Now that Long Chen has come here, there's no way he'll walk out alive. Comforted the late Xi'anchen elder who had talked to Long Chen. When outsiders were present, he would call this person district chief. That was the position of the person in charge of this entire mining site. But when no one else was present, he would call him according to his seniority in the family. In those terms, he had to call Zhao Kun third uncle even though he was actually older than him. Pow. Zhao Kun immediately slapped the person in the face and cursed. This was all your plan. You said to intimidate Long Chen at the beginning. But that's completely unnecessary. The elder stumbled back, raging inside. Fuck. It was clearly your idea. All I did was agree with you and give you some ideas. Now that you've failed, you release your anger on me? Fuck. I really am unlucky. Go tell them that Long Chen has arrived. It's time to start setting things up. This time, Long Chen has to die here. Zhao Kun felt much more refreshed after slapping the elder. Yes, the elder disappeared from Zhao Kun's room. Looking at the fragments of the teacup, Zhao Kun smiled sinisterly. Long Chen, I want to see just how many more days you can be so at ease. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, the district chief wanted me to tell you that starting today, you and your subordinates are in charge of defending this mining site. Everything's already set up, so I'll hand things over to you, said the person in charge of receiving them. Go back and tell that person that we're travel-weary and exhausted. We need to rest for a few months first. We can discuss other things at that time, said Long Chen lazily. This person almost stumbled to the ground. They would be only here for three months. But he wanted to rest for a few months? Why did it seem like he had come here for vacation? Ah, uh, this matter has nothing to do with you. I feel like you're a smart person. So do your best not to get involved with this matter. Just repeat what I said word for word, warned Long Chen. All right, then I'll go report your words exactly. I wish you a good rest. That person respectfully left. Long Chen's expression became disdainful. After force failed, they sent someone to try and persuade him gently. But in the end, he didn't care. He didn't submit to force or persuasion. Long Chen, is this really all right? Asked Men Qi. It seemed Long Chen had been a bit too forceful this time. What's not all right? They set up a trap, and they wanted us to jump in. Could it be that we have to be polite to them? I'm not in the habit of being half beaten by an opponent and then turning so that they can beat the other half of me. Let me tell you, no matter what attitude we have, they will still continue with their trap, a trap designed to kill me. So why should I have to be polite? Long Chen shrugged a bit helplessly. Sister Men Qi, don't try to persuade Long Chen. His thoughts are all evil. It's precisely that phrase. Evil people will naturally be handled by evil people. Only people eviler than those guys can handle them. As for Long Chen, it seems like he was sent down by the heavens specifically to handle these evil people. Just let him do what he wants. We can just watch the show. Tang Wan Er laughed. Can I treat your words as praise? Asked Long Chen. Up to you. Tang Wan Er laughed, shrugging. You two really are interesting. Long Chen, if you clearly knew it was a trap and still jumped in, aren't you being a fool? Asked Men Qi. He, in this world, there is an iron law. Opportunity and danger coexist. The greater the danger, the greater the possible gains. We can't just focus on the danger. A problem has appeared with the Dragonblood Legion. 
and they need to go through life and death battles to completely solidify their mental states. Only then can they build a flawless foundation. If we relied merely on time to stabilize those foundations, then it would take at least a year. Only then would I dare allow you all to attack the Xi'anchen realm. In truth, even if we waited one year, that speed would still be shocking. But time waits for no one. We have to take advantage of every second to increase our strength. That will increase the chance of our survival. Otherwise, we won't have the confidence to face our future enemies. I brought everyone into a trap in order to completely solidify everyone's cultivation basis. That's the most obvious benefit. And even if it was just for that, we didn't jump into this trap for nothing. Of course, in this world, there are also many unexpected things, both good and bad. But if you don't have the courage to take a risk, how could you have any major accomplishments? Said Long Chen. Tang Wanerer sighed. Sometimes I really can't understand why those fellows from the Dragonblood Legion can so blindly trust you. They didn't even ask where we were going this time before following. In fact, they only learned your goal once they arrived here. This is a kind of feeling between men. It's completely different from the feelings between a man and a woman. Between brothers, the only thing required is a single gaze. These brothers are all willing to follow me even into death. With their lives placed in the hands of their brothers. They're too lazy to bother with asking so much. All they need to know is that by following their big bro Long, they'll definitely have meat to eat. Long Chen laughed. Tang Wanner and Men Qi exchanged a glance. They both saw the helplessness in the other's gaze. Men really were strange creatures. The trust between men was hard for them to understand. All right, I trust that everyone has already settled down. Time to go for a stroll. Long Chen stood up. Where are we going? Of course, we're going to Chaos City. I know there's an extremely fun place there. Long Chen smiled. But a cold light shone in his eyes. One filled with killing intent. Chapter 625 Bloodfiend Vermilion Fruit Translator Born to be Chaos City was located at the edge of the Chaos region. This was the only city here. When Long Chen brought Guo Ran, Gu Yang, Li Qi, Song Mingguan, and Yu Zifeng here, they all sucked in a cold gasp of air. What a desolate city. This city was several hundred miles wide but it didn't have city walls or even a city gate. The buildings were all built in a disordered fashion, looking like an ant nest. There was a long road a mile wide at the center that split the city in two. There were some people walking on the road extremely vigilantly. Suddenly, a ray of light flew out accompanied by a miserable shriek. A corpse was tossed out of a window, landing on the road. This person who had been killed was surprisingly a Xi'anchen expert. He had died just like that. HMPH, if you don't have money, then don't waste my time. That's just courting death. An elder walked out of the building where this corpse had come from. This person had tattoos on his face that made his face seem like he was a fiend. It gave off an extremely sinister feeling. Long Chen and the others had only just walked into the city when they saw that scene. Guo ran and the others' hearts tensed. Corrupt expert. Just from those tattoos, it was obvious what side this person was on. Only the corrupt path liked to tattoo such fiendish images on themselves. You brats, what are you looking at? Are you looking to die? Shouted the elder furiously upon seeing Long Chen and the others staring at him. Hey, old ghost, do you have anything good there? Long Chen ignored the elder's tone. Old ghost? Brat, I feel like you've grown tired of life. A cold light shone in the elder's eyes. He had already decided to kill these brats. This was Chaos City, and there were no rules to speak of. Whoever's fist was stronger had the qualifications to speak. There were both righteous and corrupt experts in this city. The road was actually the boundary. One side of it belonged to the corrupt path, while the other belonged to the righteous path. While there were often fights between both sides, there was also business. Just now, their business had turned sour, and the corrupt expert had directly killed a member of the righteous path. That was an extremely common occurrence, and not one expert from the righteous path stood up to display their indignation. They all just coldly watched from their region. Long Chen and the others were only at the meridian opening realm and had no experts accompanying them. In these people's eyes, they were just sheep for the slaughter. They probably wouldn't be able to survive even half a day here. Old Ghost might be a bit too impolite. Let me switch appellations. Old Bastard. Do you have anything good there? Asked Long Chen extremely courteously. Die. The corrupt elder was finally unable to bear it anymore and charged forward, his fist smashing toward them. He was a mid Zianchen expert and he wasn't holding back at all. Moreover, all of them were within the range of his fist. It seemed he wanted to kill them all with this one attack. Who wants it? Asked Long Chen. Me. 
Gu Yang took a step forward. Boom. The corrupt elder was sent flying by Gu Yang's fist, and he slammed into the room behind him. The entire building exploded. Long Chen nodded. The Dragonblood Legion's men had all cultivated in the mountain crushing body tempering art. That was a high heaven class cultivation technique. It made their physical bodies extremely powerful. As for Gu Yang, he had always been a brute strength kind of fighter. This mountain crushing body tempering art had practically been made for him. Now he was so powerful. He could even fight across realms. Bastard. Receive one of my attacks. The corrupt elder raged. Completely releasing his aura. A terrifying blood key slowly condensed in the air. Don't waste time. Said Long Chen lightly. Gu Yang flashed into action. He arrived right in front of the corrupt elder. His fist smashing down. He struck incredibly quickly. Reaching him before the elder even managed to fully release his aura. Crack. The corrupt elder's arm shattered from the impact. And he vomited blood. Gu Yang picked him up and carried him over to Long Chen. The distant righteous experts, who were spectating, were all dumbfounded. This tyrannical corrupt elder had actually been easily defeated by Gu Yang. But their shocked expressions only lasted for a moment before they smiled sinisterly. They knew these youngsters had provoked a calamity. There would be a good play to watch today. Long Chen smiled at the pale corrupt elder. You really are picky. You don't like being called old ghost or old bastard. Just what should I call you? Old fogey? Old stick? Old BTCH? You better the elder was just about to say that Long Chen better wait for him and that people would quickly come to put them in their place. But then, Gu Yang's hand on his throat tightened, and he was unable to say another word. I better what? Oh, you want me to appraise your wares? Ah, all right. I'll help you out. Long Chen smiled and took the elder's spatial ring. Yup, some of these are just trash. A few trash weapons. A pile of trash pills. TCH. There are even some trash cultivation techniques. What is there to appraise about these things? Oh. You actually have three pure bitter earth roots? That's not bad. Not bad. Wow. And even two snowy spirit fruits? Excellent. Excellent. Long Chen was pleasantly surprised to see he really did have some treasures. That pure bitter earth root was a very rare medicinal ingredient. It might not be too valuable to others. But it was an immense treasure to Long Chen. Long Chen had killing fruit. With that, he could refine pills to increase the quality of a person's spirit root. Originally, the Dragonblood Legion's members had mostly had bronze-grade spirit roots. But now, they had all advanced to silver-grade spirit roots. As for Gu Yang and the others, as well as some various talented fellows, they had gold-grade spirit roots now. This was why everyone's cultivation bases could rise so quickly. This pure bitter earth root could be combined with the killin' fruit to refine an even stronger spirit ascension pill. In other words, everyone's spirit roots could be upgraded again. This old man had really helped them out. As for the snowy spirit fruit, that was Long Chen talking nonsense. In truth, it was a blood fiend vermilion fruit. Its value might even surpass a killin' fruit. Because only blood fiend land could grow such fruit. This so-called blood fiend land referred to the ground that was nourished by the fresh blood of experts ye round. Only at such a place could the blood fiend vermilion fruit grow. Furthermore, forming a blood fiend land didn't require just one or two years. It required thousands of years, maybe even tens of thousands of years. It was extremely difficult to create that blood fiend land. The first requirement was that powerful experts had to bleed and die on the land. Only then would their resentment soak into the ground. But that still wasn't enough. Otherwise, according to that theory, the Jiuli secret realm would have formed plenty of bloodfiend lands. Bloodfiend land required you to continuously nourish it with fresh blood. You had to continue with that for thousands of years. Only then was there a chance for it to give birth to a bloodfiend vermilion fruit. But a chance was only a chance. What if the fruit didn't appear? Then you could only give up. If it didn't show up within thousands of years, then it would never show up. In other words, you would have wasted thousands of years for nothing. It was said that this fruit had almost gone extinct. It was one of the most precious treasures to corrupt experts. It was something they could use to advance to the sea expansion realm. With this elder's status, he didn't have the qualifications to own such a treasure. But he had run into a heaven-defying opportunity, obtaining a life ring in an ancient tomb that had contained these two fruits. He had been preparing to leave one for his own use, and then wait until he had reached the sea expansion realm to sell the other one. After all. It was a treasure that countless people would go crazy for. However, he was already 300 years old, and he had only reached the mid Zyantian realm. His chance of reaching the half-step sea expansion realm was almost zero. 
so he had come to Chaos City to see if he could exchange it for something he needed. But even after all these years, he hadn't found anything to his liking. As time passed, he became more and more tyrannical. So whether someone came to buy or sell, if they weren't from the corrupt path, then as soon as his temperament took a turn for the worse, he would kill them. Only inexperienced people would ever go to his place. In truth, the person he had killed just now should also blame the righteous experts. Not one of them had warned him. They had all just watched. This blood fiend vermilion fruit contained boundless blood essence. It posed a fanatical attraction to half stepsy expansion experts. However, other than that blood essence, it also contained endless resentment. To members of the righteous path, this fruit was nothing more than poison. But just who was Long Chen? With his pill god memories, such a small matter was unable to cause him any difficulties. Even if he didn't make any more gains today, he had already made a huge profit. Long Chen couldn't help praising himself. Even he had begun to believe his own lies. He had directly called the blood fiend vermilion fruit the snowy spirit fruit. One, and done it so naturally. Old thing, it's rare for you to be so filial. I'll accept this treasure. However, I don't like owing favors to anyone. I won't just take someone's things for nothing. Ah, fine. I've intensively researched fortune telling for over 30 years now. Due to your filial tribute, I will tell your fortune. Long Chen carefully looked at the elder's face and then said, Your gaze is fierce, and your face contains anger. Those are ill portents. You should fear running into a bloody calamity. Guo Ran and the others almost coughed up blood. This fellow's arms had already been broken. What did he need to fear? He had already run into a bloody calamity. However, you don't need to worry. The hair on your head is white, but your beard is black. This is a sign of long life. You should be able to live until you're dead. Long Chen counted on his fingers with extreme confidence. PFFT. The elder vomited a mouthful of blood. He couldn't speak, and his fury had erupted beyond his control. He felt like he might go crazy. How could he not tell that Long Chen was referring to the blood fiend vermilion fruit when he said the snowy spirit fruit? For him to so shamelessly take it and then even boast that he would tell the elder's fortune for him. The elder was fuming. He had never seen such a shameless person in all his years. You brazen brats. How dare you injure someone from my corrupt path. I feel like you've grown tired of life. Suddenly, a furious shout rang out and dozens of figures surrounded Long Chen and the others. Chapter 626 Intimidating the Corrupt Path Translator Born to be these newcomers were corrupt experts. Their cultivation bases were all in the Xi'anchen realm, and they quickly surrounded Long Chen and the others. A misunderstanding. I didn't harm anyone from your corrupt path. Staring straight at them, Long Chen pointed at that old man's head, and he immediately died. I'm not good at harming people, but when it comes to killing people, I'm quite the expert. Long Chen patted his hands, seeming extremely relaxed as if he hadn't just killed a human but simply crushed an ant. Originally, Long Chen would disdain killing such a minor figure, but the blood fiend vermilion fruit was too important, and he didn't want others to learn about it. Seeing that even being surrounded by them, Long Chen still dared kill that member of the corrupt path. These corrupt experts all felt like they had been slapped in the face. Kill them all. The corrupt experts roared. Attacking. Blood and flesh flew. Red mist filled the air. Gu Yang. Song Mingguan. Li Qi. And Yu Zifeng attacked at the same time. Before the corrupt experts could do a single thing. They were all killed. Yu Zifeng. I got seven. Gu Yang. I got five. Song Mingguan. I got one. Li Qi. Fuck. You guys are too fast. I didn't even get one. Yu Zifeng was truly worthy of being a sword cultivator. His killing power was the greatest. Sword cultivator's attacks were just too fast. As for Gu Yang, he had a spear, and taking advantage of that length, he had managed to get five. Song Mingguan's luck was not bad, and someone had been charging straight at him, but Li Qi had been too slow. Before he could kill his target, Gu Yang's spear had turned him into a bloody mist. Not bad. Long Chen nodded. To be able to get Long Chen to nod in praise, Gu Yang and the others were delighted. Even Yu Zifen was affected. Just who was Long Chen? He was practically a demon. Rather than calling him a genius, it would be more accurate to call him a monster. To win his praise was an immense glory. He, that's only because I didn't attack. If I had, I would have destroyed them all with a wave of my hand. Brag Guo Ran. TCH. If you had attacked, you would have impacted us. In the Jiuli secret realm, enemies didn't manage to injure me, but you almost got me killed, retorted Gu Yang. He, it was just an accident. Now I've already changed my methods. 
I won't accidentally injure anyone anymore. Guo Ran laughed with a bit of embarrassment. All right, get the battle spoils. We still have stuff to do. He, today, our luck really is good. What a good start. After saying that, they gathered those people's weapons and spatial rings. As Xi'anchen experts, they were quite wealthy. This battle caused quite a few waves. However, this was just the entrance to Chaos City. Before the inner parts of the city could even receive any news, Long Chen and the others had already killed everyone. Then, instead of running, they brazenly swaggered their way into the city. Who are those people? How are they so terrifying? TCH. So what if they're terrifying? Within Chaos City, there are countless corrupt experts. They're just sending themselves to their deaths. He, there are always those ignorant fools who think themselves so powerful who come here to die. Do they really think that little power was enough to make them unrevealed? It was unknown just how many righteous experts were just watching them from the shadows. Most of them thought they were just looking to die. Boss, let me kill those idiots. They really are fucking stupid. As members of the same righteous path, they're talking about us like that. Guo Ran's expression was dark. These people were too hateful. Previously, that person from the righteous path had been killed, but they had acted completely indifferent. Now, Long Chen and them had killed the corrupt experts, and they even sneered at them. The same righteous path as us? They count as part of the righteous path? You're speaking too highly about them. They're just a bunch of trash. As for the righteous path, most of it is filled with this kind of trash. Cowards who are afraid of the strong but bully the weak. Lowlifes who can forget any morality for profit. Inner strife is their speciality, but when it comes to true life and death battles, they only know how to flee and hide. As they hide in terror, they watch others fight, hoping for as many of them to die as possible. That way, they'll seem so wise. Righteous path? He? What is righteous? What is corrupt? Where is the line between them? That's all just nonsense. At the very least, the corrupt path has a firm belief. As for the righteous path, they don't believe in anything. In truth, they're much more frightening than the corrupt path. So remember, we aren't a part of the righteous path, nor are we a part of the corrupt path. There is no one else who is our companion. The only ones we can rely on are ourselves and the brothers around us, said Long Chen. Long Chen had long since seen through the righteous path. In front of Prophet, they were willing to commit any crimes. Human morals? That was nonsense. The righteous path was even greedier than the corrupt path. That was because they had no beliefs to limit them. They had no bottom line. For their goals, they were willing to do anything. For example, back in the Jiuli secret realm, when Long Chen had chased after Yun Luo, there were quite a few corrupt experts who they had run into, and they had been willing to sacrifice themselves in order to slow him down and give Yun Luo a chance to escape. As for Long Chen, he had seen many righteous experts watching from a distance. They had even taken out photographic jades wanting to record the moment of his death. Not one of them had come to help. That was the terror of having no beliefs at all. The more indifferent a person became, the more selfish they would become, and the more evil an evil person would become. As for the originally good people, either they were killed by these evil people, or, in order to survive, they also became evil themselves. That was the righteous path. The current righteous path was a complete mess. When it came to total power, the righteous path should have been able to completely dominate the corrupt path. And yet, each time they had battles, it was the righteous path that lost. Fuck. How are there so many idiots? Raged Gu Yang. It's not that they're idiots, but that their parents are idiots because that was how their parents taught them. Their ancestors truly passed on the best lessons. Laughed Long Chen. He. There are people to welcome us ahead. After walking for a while, they suddenly saw a mass of people. There had to be hundreds of them. These people were all Xi'anchen experts, and the two people at the front had even reached half step C expansion. However, they were both extremely old, and even their beards had turned white. Currently, Long Chen and the others had almost arrived at the center of Chaos City. There were countless righteous experts who were present now, but they didn't stand with Long Chen, instead, just watching from their own territory. It seemed they were extremely specialized at being spectators. Haha, <laughs> wow. For so many of you to come receive us, you really are too courteous, laughed Long Chen. That attitude made it seem like they weren't even enemies, but friends. Long, Long Chen, one of the elders at the front suddenly recognized him, and his voice quivered. Now that he said that, all the corrupt experts' expressions changed. Chaos City was mostly isolated from the rest of the world, but there was no one in the corrupt path who didn't know Long Chen's name. 
He was the first person to still be alive even after being number one of their must-kill list for over half a year. The corrupt path was different from the righteous path. Most of the corrupt experts who came here had come for tempering, while the righteous experts here were mostly criminals being punished. So they had much more news than the righteous path. The righteous path only got news of the outside world once every few years. As for Long Chen, his sudden rise had only occurred in the last two years. So the righteous experts hadn't even heard of him. The righteous experts were all dumbfounded. Just what kind of god was Long Chen? Just his name was able to cause such a reaction from the corrupt experts. Just which side was the corrupt path? Ah, how unexpected. I didn't expect to run into old friends here. How rare. You know, I'm used to using my saber to greet my friends. Today, the weather's not bad. Should we greet each other? Asked Long Chen lightly. The two half stepsy expansion experts looked at each other, their hearts cold. They had personally seen the photographic jade of Long Chen's fight with Yun Wusheng. Celestials were the favorites of heaven and earth. In the meridian opening realm, they could dominate the Xianchen realm. Half stepsy expansion experts were like weeds in front of them. They were only ordinary half stepsy expansion experts. If they really fought with Long Chen here, none of them would live to tell the tale. No matter how many rabbits you gathered, they wouldn't be able to bite a tiger to death. This wasn't a case where numbers would allow them to crush their opponents. We're leaving. The two elders spat out those words before leaving just like that, causing all the righteous experts to be dumbfounded. Two half stepsy expansion experts and over 300 Xianchen experts were running? What happened to their dignity? What happened to their viciousness? Weren't corrupt experts known to be fearless? What? You're leaving just like this. Hey. Wait a moment. Let's discuss this. Call Gu Yang. Gu Yang's spear was resting on his shoulder. He had long since been prepared for a battle. His aura rose to his peak, and he already felt like his blood was heating up. He wanted a true battle to stimulate him, but these opponents had just turned and left. He almost spat out blood. The corrupt experts ignored Gu Yang. They quickly disappeared. Boss, what's going on? This doesn't seem to be the style of the corrupt path, asked Guo Ran. Considering how vicious the corrupt path was, then even if they had to die, they probably wouldn't have acted so cowardly. Even if they couldn't kill Long Chen, they could still focus on the people by his side. Even if they had to all die, they would still do as much damage as possible. That was the style of the corrupt path. They're really too courteous. They should be preparing a gift. It's fine. They'll come back sooner or later. Let's go. We still have stuff to do. They continued walking forward, arriving at the end of the road. If the previous area was just a slum, then this was the truly flourishing part. There were many splendid buildings here that were built neatly. There were even some luxurious decorations. Long Chen looked at one of those buildings. Let's go eat first. Then we'll make some inquiries. Chapter 627 Calling on Somebody Translator Born to be this was the only restaurant in Chaos City and one of the three tallest buildings in the city. It had nine floors and was 300 meters wide. There was no way it could compare to the Immortal Intoxication Building. But in this desolate place, it appeared exceptionally grand and luxurious. A refined and courteous attendant brought Long Chen and the others to the top floor. Currently, it was just a few hours from the night. It wasn't really dinner time yet. And so this entire floor was empty. Your restaurant doesn't seem very popular. How do you manage to stay in business? Asked Guo Ran. This is the only restaurant in Chaos City. The people who come here mostly only come to entertain guests. So we don't have that many customers normally. The attendant smiled. Bring us a feast and some wine. Long Chen found a table beside the window from which they could overlook Chaos City. Here we have three kinds of preset feasts. Which one did you want? Choose the best one. Long Chen waved his hand. Very well. The attendant was pleasantly surprised. These people didn't have high cultivation basis, but they spent money so extravagantly. The highest class preset meal here cost 18 middle grade spirit stones. As the attendant for them, he would get 3,000 ordinary spirit stones for this. A short while later, many delicacies were placed on the table. It went without saying that this restaurant's owner truly did know what quality was. These dishes were all extremely sumptuous. Other than the fine food, there were also three large jugs of excellent wine. But because they still had things to do, they didn't drink that much. After eating, Long Chen suddenly asked the attendant, How long have you lived in Chaos City? 18 years. He replied cautiously, For a mid-meridian opening cultivator to still be alive after 18 years in Chaos City is quite amazing, said Long Chen. 
This little one normally only stays in the restaurant. If I ever went outside, I'd have long since died, laughed the attendant. Then since you've been here for so long, you should know many things that other people don't, right? I'll give you an opportunity. If you manage to grab onto it, you won't need to be a waiter in this restaurant. I'll give you enough wealth for you to find somewhere to pass the rest of your life in peace. With your talent, it would be very difficult to reach the Xi'anshan realm, but I can let you achieve that dream, said Long Chen lightly. Guest, you, you're joking. Whether I'm joking or not is something you can decide for yourself. If you feel like it's a joke, then it's a joke. If you feel like it's serious, then it's serious. Long Chen smiled and threw a ring over to that person. This was the spatial ring of one of the corrupt experts. Long Chen had already gone through and found nothing he needed. There was merely one Xi'anshan weapon, some pills, cultivation techniques, and a pile of spirit stones. In total, they were only worth a few hundred middle-grade spirit stones. To Long Chen, that was nothing. But for this attendant, it was an enormous wealth. If your answers satisfy me, I will also give you a heaven-advancing pill. Long Chen tossed out another huge blow. The attendant gulped down his saliva. Long Chen could hear his heart pounding. The attendant placed the ring on the table and carefully asked, What do you want to know? Long Chen's words were clear. He would only get a reward if his answer satisfied Long Chen. That ring was not as yet. Long Chen smiled. He liked dealing with smart people. I want to know many things. I want to know everything you know about Chaos City. But don't worry, even if you don't know what I want to know, I will still give you a reward. Money was always the greatest motivation. The attendant told Long Chen everything he knew. Other than the righteous and corrupt paths, Chaos City had two other powers present. One of those was the master of the restaurant, but the restaurant's master was extremely mysterious. In his 18 years here, he hadn't seen him once. His guess was that this restaurant was just a minor business for him, and he wasn't personally in charge of it. However, this restaurant's master was a bit frightening. Neither the righteous or corrupt paths dared make any trouble here. There was no way for a small attendant to learn about the master's background. As for the other power, it was the boss of the brothel and gambling house. Since ancient times, gambling houses had never been far from brothels. The boss of these two businesses was also extremely powerful. The majority of his customers were from the corrupt path. But even these normally fierce corrupt experts would become extremely obedient in the brothel and gambling house. Even if someone did cause a disturbance, it would be on a very small scale. The attendant had personally seen someone from the gambling house kill someone from the corrupt path who had caused trouble. But the corrupt experts had simply taken away that person's corpse without saying a word. The attendant also told Long Chen an extremely important secret. The boss of the brothel and gambling house was a half step C expansion expert. This boss had once entertained some guests here. It was unknown whether he had drunk too much but he had said that the power behind him was the Pill Towers Huo family. Hearing that, Long Chen was truly startled. The Pill Towers Huo family actually had a connection here? But then thinking about it, he thought it was more likely this person was just intentionally trying to intimidate others. Most likely, he had exaggerated his relationship with the Pill Tower in order to protect his business. From their current position in the restaurant, they could see two very luxurious buildings. They were a brothel and a gambling house. There was no nameplate declaring what to call them. But in Chaos City, there was no one who didn't know those two buildings. Some runaways and even some minor workers often liked to drink themselves into a stupor there. The main thing was that those were the safest places in Chaos City. Within the Chaos region, it was possible for people to lose their lives at any moment. But with the mines here, people could make a great deal of money. A portion of the people would go there in an attempt to get more money. Getting more cultivation resources for themselves. The majority of these people only had average talent. Most of them were just waiting to die here. And so when they got their salaries, they came here to wildly spend their money, entering a drunken state to gamble and enjoy other pleasures. The attendant said that the gambling house and brothel made a shocking amount of money. After this, Long Chen felt like he really had gained quite a bit from this meal. He asked, then let me ask you one last question. If you can answer, I'll immediately give you what I promised. Please ask. The Blood Kill Hall's stronghold should also be in Chaos City, correct? Where is it? This was Long Chen's main goal in coming here. Long Chen had investigated the Blood Kill Hall before. He knew that they had a stronghold to accept missions here. The Blood Kill Hall's organization was mysterious, and most of its strongholds were completely hidden. No one knew where they were, but there was one known stronghold in Chaos City.
that was because the situation here was special. After being attacked by the Blood Kill Hall for so many times, Long Chen had grown tired. He was not someone who would be beaten and not fight back. This time, he was preparing to give the Blood Kill Hall a ruthless blow. If they came out to play, then they sooner or later would have to pay a price. Looking in the direction the attendant pointed, Long Chen saw a strange building. It looked like a skull that had been half buried. It was an extremely bright white color and easy to recognize. Um, how about I pay for this meal? Seeing the immense amount of wealth in the ring as well as the heaven advancing pill, the attendant was incomparably grateful. He quickly offered to pay. It's fine. You deserve that. What you should be thinking about right now is how you're going to get out of the chaos region alive. Try to be a bit more low-key. Long Chen threw out 18 spirit stones and left the restaurant. Guo Ran whispered, Boss, why didn't you let sister-in-law Wan Er come with us this time? It would be nice to have such a powerful helper. Killing people like this isn't suitable for them. Even though they're willing to do it, they don't like it. What, are you getting afraid? Asked Long Chen. It's not fear, but more that I feel like the blood kill hall is difficult to deal with. The slightest slip can cause big problems, said Guo Ran. You're very correct. As specialized assassins, the Blood Kill Hall's people are all proficient in killing people in a way that's impossible to guard against. But you should all remember, the reason an expert can become an expert isn't just because they're strong. They also require a strong heart. That heart can be conceited or arrogant, but it can't be unsure. Your actual strength surpasses your imagination. So no matter what kind of enemies you face, you have to have confidence. You can't let the pressure get to you just because they're assassins. The point of a battle is to kill your enemies. You are also killers. So what do you need to be afraid of? You've probably killed more people than they ever have, said Long Chen. Boss, that does sound a bit reasonable. But then, boss, is the real reason you didn't bring sister-in-law Wan Er because you're afraid of being outshone by her? The other brothers have also asked which one of you is stronger, asked Guo Ran. Others weren't aware that Tang Wan Er had become a celestial, but the Dragonblood Legion's captains had been told by Long Chen. You really care about a lot of nonsense. If you have that much energy, then focus more on how you're going to kill your enemies, said Long Chen. He, I understand, I understand. Guo Ran nodded. TCH, what do you understand? Long Chen was speechless. This little fellow really never thought about proper things. He, we've arrived. You guys guard the door and keep watch over all sides. Kill any rabbits that slip away. As for Guo Ran, if you don't have to, then don't attack. I'll go in first. Long Chen stepped into the entrance of the Blood Kill Hall's stronghold. That entrance seemed like the mouth of a skull, appearing incredibly sinister. But today, it was welcoming the arrival of a true killing god. Chapter 628 My Rules Translator Born to be entering the stronghold, he saw a vast hall inside. It was extremely simple. The only thing in this hall was an elder resting with his eyes closed. When Long Chen entered, the elder's eyes popped open. His eyes were extremely turbid making him look exactly like an ordinary, mortal elder. Sorry to disturb you, said Long Chen lightly as he appraised the surroundings. Long Chen? He, interesting. You're on the kill list, but you actually dared to come here. Youngsters these days really are brazen, praised the elder. There's no way around that, as my character is just like that. But the world is always changing. For example, the position of hunter and prey often changes, don't you think? Asked Long Chen. This person was definitely an assassin. Although this person had completely reserved his aura, Long Chen's sharp spiritual perception could still sense endless resentment on his body. That was the resentment left behind by the people he had killed. Now that it had been absorbed by his aura, it was something that would never wash away. Oh, this theory of yours truly does exist. But it doesn't hold water with my blood kill hall. Prey should just hide as best as they can, doing anything they can to dodge the arrow of the hunter. Once the hunter finally gives up, the prey will also regain its freedom. But if a prey walks into the hunter's room, that's not in accordance with the rules. Even if the prey manages to bite one hunter to death, it will simply bring on more hunters, and then it won't have the slightest chance of surviving, said the elder. Obviously, he was extremely familiar with who Long Chen was. He had already escaped from bronze, silver, and gold rank assassins then he would only have to endure one more wave of violet gold assassins before, in accordance with the Blood Kill Hall's regulations, the mission to kill him would be marked as a failure. Once a mission failed, the Blood Kill Hall would never create a new mission to kill that target. That was why he was warning Long Chen. 
If Long Chen didn't act according to the Blood Guild Hall's rules, then no matter what today's result was, Long Chen would forever have to face this world's most terrifying assassins until he died. Rules? Those are just things the strong force upon the weak. As for the experts, they are both the players and the referees. This kind of game is too senseless, and I don't like it. Long Chen shook his head. Oh? Then what do you want? I like to play according to my own rules. Long Chen shrugged. Your rules? My rules are, if someone doesn't offend me, I won't offend them. If a person offends me, I'll endure for a bit, and then if they continue, I'll pull them up by the roots. Long Chen seemed extremely relaxed as if he was just talking about a game. There wasn't the slightest graveness to his voice. But Long Chen already viewed the Blood Kill Hall as enemies. They had already come after him several times, and he was done with this senseless game. As for him saying that he would endure for a bit, that was really just nonsense. Other than enduring a bit toward pretty women, it seemed he never exercised any forbearance. Pull them up by the roots? Ha ha ha. The elder laughed heartily as if he had heard the world's funniest joke. Tears even squeezed out of his eyes. Long Chen didn't say anything. He simply stood there with his hands clasped behind his back. A smile on his face as he waited. After getting tired of laughing, the elder finally said, Do you know just how laughable your words are? Do you know how enormous the blood kill hall is? Let alone you. Even your Zhuanchen Dao sect's patriarch doesn't have the qualifications to say that he will uproot the entire blood kill hall. Do you want to continue making jokes? Long Chen shook his head. I don't know how enormous the blood kill hall is, and I also don't know who the Zhuanchen Dao sect's patriarch is, but I know that your blood kill hall has tried to assassinate me, so you are my enemies, and what I do to my enemies is always the same. As for whether or not my words today are a joke or the truth, You'll never have a chance to find out. Perhaps in the Nine Springs you'll eventually hear the news that your blood kill hall was destroyed. At that time, I hope you can also laugh so heartily. According to the blood kill hall's rules, I can't attack you right now. But since you've provoked my blood kill hall's dignity, it goes without saying that I can only kill you here. After killing you, I will confess my repentance to the killing god. After saying that, the elder suddenly disappeared. A dagger pierced straight toward Long Chen's back coming incredibly quickly. Long Chen sneered. He raised a lightning-covered hand. Just as Long Chen's hand was about to reach the dagger, the space in front of Long Chen twisted, and the elder appeared in front of him, a dripping dagger stabbing toward his chest. This was an extremely exquisite diversionary tactic. When the elder had first disappeared, that strange dagger had come from behind him. At this time, anyone would think the elder had appeared between them and would turn. But as soon as you did that, you would have fallen into a death trap, as the elder had merely used an illusory art to make himself temporarily vanish. As for the attack, it was just his spiritual strength controlling a dagger. In other words, before Long Chen had even arrived, that dagger had already been set up behind him. What a routine, Long Chen sneered. The instant the elder's spiritual energy had activated, he had sensed it. Long Chen's spiritual strength was a hundred times greater than the elder's. How could he possibly be fooled? He blocked the dagger behind him with one hand, and then he ignored the dagger in the elder's hand, instead smashing his fist at his chest. This fist relied on nothing more than brute strength, but if the elder was struck by it, his body would immediately explode. However, before that fist reached the elder, his dagger would pierce into Long Chen's body. The dagger had countless barbs on it, and the liquid dripping off it was obviously poison. If Long Chen was struck, then it was possible for the poison to instantly take his life. But then, the elder would also be unable to dodge Long Chen's punch. Both parties would die. And yet, despite having lived for so many years, this elder clearly didn't want to die yet. Stamping on the ground, he was like a phantom, rapidly retreating, dodging Long Chen's punch. His body suddenly shook, and he turned into figures that surrounded Long Chen. Those eight figures were incredibly fast, and their afterimages made it look like Long Chen was surrounded by hundreds of people. Suddenly, one figure shot at Long Chen's side, but Long Chen's fist blocked his attack. A simple smoke screen. As expected, without preparing beforehand, you assassins are just a bunch of idiots. You actually call yourselves heavenly emissaries of the killing god? The only thing you know how to do is read people's lives in the dark. But in an open fight, your only fate is to die. Long Chen shook his head. Bastard, you dare blaspheme the killing god. Die. Boom. The elder had previously only used a meridian opening cultivation base to fight Long Chen, but now, he was truly infuriated. 
and he fully released the power of a Xi'anchen expert. I'll let you experience what is true assassination. PFFT. Suddenly, a lightning spear pierced through the elder's chest. A large hole was left behind by it, and endless thunder force instantly numbed his nerves. Sorry, I tend to be a bit impatient. Rather than listening to your chatter, I'll borrow your head for a moment. Long Chen was actually quite interested in these assassins, but he wouldn't let go of a chance to kill them. When it came to killing arts, it was Long Chen who knew the most efficient methods. He was someone who had killed his way out of a mountain of corpses. As soon as that elder had released his aura and begun preparing to use a powerful technique, he had left himself open for a single breath. As a result, Long Chen hadn't let that opportunity escape him, and he had killed him with a single blow. Long Chen pointed his finger at the elder's head, and his vast spiritual strength surged out. Soul Sark. Long Chen used the most barbarous method to break the elder's spiritual defenses and examine his memories. A spiritual seal. Long Chen was startled. Bang. The elder's head exploded, and Long Chen hastily circulated his spiritual key to block the blood from splashing on him. The instant the elder died, a dozen black-robed experts appeared in the hall. Each of them held a black crossbow in their hands and a flurry of arrows rained down on Long Chen. Those crossbows were strangely powerful and fast as lightning, at such a close distance, and with Long Chen being distracted by the elder's head exploding, it could be said that this attack was truly perfect. It went without saying that these assassins' arrows would all be poisoned. Being struck by this many arrows would definitely be difficult to bear. Lightning shield. Endless thunder force surged out of Long Chen's arms, forming a large barrier. The arrows all exploded on impact. In front of his thunder force, these arrows were useless. Even in broad daylight, you like to wear black and hide your faces. That really must be miserable for you. Fine, I'll send you to the other world. I hear that it's always dark there, and you won't have to suffer so much during the day. Boom. Long Chen detonated his lightning shield, and this stronghold was blown to pieces. As for the assassins, they had been prepared, but they were still sent flying, vomiting blood. Brothers, they've finally come. Gu Yang was the first to charge forward, his eyes scarlet, his spear smashed toward those assassins. Chapter 629 As many come, as many I'll kill translator, born to be powerful key waves erupted. Over a dozen figures were blown out of the stronghold, but cold light suddenly flashed, instantly killing them. Yu Zifeng, I got eight. Gu Yang, I got seven. Song Mingyuan, I got two. Li Qi, what the fuck, you guys are too fast. I still didn't get one. Can't you leave one for me? Li Qi was irritated. It was twice now that his prey had been taken from him. These brothers of his really were brutes, not giving him the slightest face. It's fine. Don't you have me to accompany you? Guo Ran stood calmly to the side. These assassins had been instantly killed. They were a bit surprised, because they really had been too weak. Boss, what's going on? It's a bit different from expected, said Guo Ran curiously. Originally, they had thought this would be a nest of assassins and that there would be a bloody battle today. But this had been too easy. Long Chen sighed. Looks like my expectations were wrong. This is just a place for them to hand out missions. The high-level assassins probably don't stay here. These assassins here are all just silver-rank assassins. What? But wasn't that old man a Xi'anchen expert? How could he only be a silver-rank assassin? Asked Gu Yang. Their ranks have nothing to do with cultivation base. It is only determined by their assassination arts. If their assassination abilities are lacking, then even a sea expansion expert would still just be at the silver rank. Furthermore, the higher their ranking is, then each time their cultivation base advances, there must be an equivalent increase in their assassination ability. If there isn't, then they're essentially discarded. That old man should probably be someone like that, and so he had no choice but to be some random worker here. Because of the Blood Kill Hall's rules, assassins won't attack those with lower cultivation bases than them. And so this old man was most likely washed out. As for the others, I guess it's about the same. Although their cultivation bases were also in the Meridian Opening Realm, they were much weaker than the Silver Rank assassins I ran into last time. This time, it really was a miscalculation. Our strike ended up landing on nothing but weaklings. Side Long Chen. If it's like this, then assassins aren't as hard to deal with as I thought, said Li Qi. Previously, he had been worried. You're wrong. They are killers in the dark. As assassins, they don't face their opponents head on. That's why if they fail to kill you in an instant, they will flee. Although their true combat strength is much weaker than yours, if they take advantage of when you're off guard, then any of you, 
other than you Zifeng, might easily be killed. They specialize in concealing themselves, and when combined with their assassination arts, most people would find it impossible to defend. Don't look down on any assassin, because any of you could lose your lives, warned Long Chen. Their hearts shook. It was true. Assassins did not face their enemies head on. It was their skillful killing techniques that were the most difficult to deal with. Why did you say Yu Zifeng was an exception? Because he's a sword cultivator, and his spiritual perception far surpasses others. Sword cultivators are the most difficult targets for assassins. Not only will the assassin be easily sensed, but a sword cultivator's weapon also never leaves their side. They're also the fastest attackers of all cultivators. So none of you can beat him in that regard, said Long Chen. Fine, I admit I can't beat him. His attack speed really is monstrous, sighed Gu Yang. This large movement drew the attention of all of Chaos City. Experts from both paths were watching from a distance. Seeing this, they all sucked in a cold gasp of air. Long Chen had actually attacked the Blood Kill Hall's stronghold. Was that a declaration of war against the Blood Kill Hall? How was that any different from asking to be killed? The Blood Kill Hall had existed for countless years. Although they were all a bunch of shameful fellows, there was no one who questioned their strength. Even the corrupt path would never incite any disputes with them when they cooperated. These silent, shadowless fellows were just too terrifying. They were like reapers who had come out of hell. They might appear by your side at any moment to reap your life. The righteous path had waged war against the Blood Kill Hall several times in history, but their gains were very limited. The public strongholds of the Blood Kill Hall were not their important basis. The destruction of those strongholds didn't affect them at all. However, that kind of conduct did infuriate the Blood Kill Hall. It was said that a few thousand years ago, the large sects that had participated in attacking the Blood Kill Hall had all had their elite disciples assassinated in just a single night. That matter had shaken the entire cultivation world. The Righteous Path had been completely infuriated, but the Blood Kill Hall had released word that anyone who dared target them would never be able to sleep peacefully again. Those large sects were all extremely powerful with profound foundations. They had countless experts, but they were unable to do anything to the Blood Kill Hall. After all, no one knew where their headquarters were. No matter how much power they had, there was nowhere to release it. As for those assassins, they would tirelessly kill their elite disciples, and there was no way to defend against them. The large sect stamped with fury, but there was nothing they could do. They could only give in and silently accept this fact. From then on, no one dared to cause any trouble for the Blood Kill Hall. The ones who the Blood Kill Hall set their sights on could only cry about their bad luck. By destroying this stronghold, Long Chen had done something no one had dared do for the last few millennia. He had once more provoked the Blood Kill Hall, and he was just in the Meridian Opening Realm. This time, the entire cultivation world is going to be shaken. People couldn't help sighing. Long Chen was really too brazen. Perhaps even the Zhuanshan Dao sect wouldn't be able to help him now. He would have to meet the crazy assassins of the Blood Kill Hall. Most importantly, the Zhuanshan Dao sect wouldn't even dare try to protect him, because if they did, the Blood Kill Hall would send assassins against their other disciples as well. That was something the Dao sect did not want to see. There was no one who could remain guarded forever. Being entangled with the Blood Kill Hall's assassins was incredibly troublesome. So even the Zhuanshan Dao sect wouldn't want to provoke those madmen. Boss, should we leave now? Asked Gu Yang. Wait a moment. There are still some secrets here. Long Chen examined the rubble and suddenly stamped his foot on the ground. The earth flew up, revealing the entrance to an underground room. The entrance had only just appeared, and the dust had yet to scatter. When countless lights shot at Long Chen, they came so suddenly that Gu Yang and the others couldn't even react. Long Chen's expression didn't change. He didn't even bat an eye. With a single punch, he released a powerful key wave that blew those lights back into the passageway. Miserable screams rang out from the underground room. There had actually been people hiding down here. Long Chen walked in and saw it was very spacious. There was a square, 300 meter altar. Atop the altar was a statue of a red haired man with a pair of red wings. His eyes seemed to icily look at Long Chen. Although it was just a statue, it seemed to have its own life. Long Chen felt like there really was someone staring at him. You are their killing god. Long Chen examined the statue. The Blood Kill Hall believed in a killing god and so they had built this statue here so they could worship him at any time. With your kind of conduct, you can still call yourself a god? Trash. You are just a money grubber. Whoever gives you money is who you would call master and act as a hired thug for. Just looking at you is nauseating. 
Boom. Long Chen directly destroyed the statue with a punch. He then looked around and saw a stone tablet on the wall. There were many lines of words on it. Su Chang Shao, Seven Star Mountain Disciple, Bronze Rank Mission, Killed. Luo Yaoshan, Mental Fist Gate Disciple, Bronze Rank Mission, Killed. Long Chen examined it and saw it was a record of missions. On the bottom of the tablet, he saw his own name. Long Chen, Zhuanshan Super Monastery Disciple, Bronze Rank Mission, Failed. Silver Rank Mission, Failed. Gold Rank Mission, Failed. Dark Gold Rank Mission, There was nothing after the Dark Gold Rank Mission. It should be that the mission had been issued, but no assassins had had the time to create a plan. The next wave would be Dark Gold. Long Chen sneered. He wiped away the words behind his name, and using a stone, he wrote another line of words on top of it. As many come, as many I'll kill. It was a very simple line of words, but they were filled with an unshackable determination. You want to come kill me, but I'm not allowed to retaliate? And I actually have to receive four waves of assassinations before the game ends? Who says I'll agree to that? If you like to play, then I'll play with you, sneered Long Chen. Long Chen already had so many enemies. At this point, he wasn't afraid of having more. Only once Long Chen and the others had left did the righteous and corrupt experts enter the underground room. Seeing the destroyed statue and the line of words Long Chen had left behind, their hearts pounded. Long Chen was actually unafraid of infuriating the blood kill hall. He had destroyed the statue of their god and left behind such provocative words. He really was trying to get himself killed. When Long Chen returned to the Zhuanshan Dao sect's mining site, he noticed that the guards had disappeared. Only once he asked around did he learn that Cao Kun had cancelled those posts. In accordance with the orders from the higher-ups, there were four mining sites that were left to Long Chen to guard. So the other guards had been removed. Whether or not Long Chen actually guarded his area, any problems would be his responsibility. Men Qi and Tang Wan'er had discussed it and decided to send the Dragonblood warriors to guard those four sites. After all, if there was a problem, Long Chen would have to take responsibility. And so the only ones present were the Dragonblood Legion now. Long Chen wasn't the slightest bit surprised at this situation. He told the Dragonblood warriors to take care during these days. There would quickly be meat to eat. As expected, three days later, a huge disturbance erupted. Countless masked experts charged towards Zhuanshan Dao sect's territory. Where is Long Chen? Get out here and die. A cold shout rang throughout the entire chaos region, and a terrifying pressure soared. Chapter 630 Terrifying Celestial Translator Born to be the Zhuanshan Dao sect's experts all turned cold and took out their weapons, rushing out. Now isn't our shift. Don't go out. There are disciples to defend, ordered Cao Kun. District Chief, there are too many enemies. I. If you know I'm the district chief, then you better listen to my orders. Didn't you hear that they want Long Chen? The trouble that Long Chen causes will have to be handled by himself, sneered Cao Kahn. But, our minds, it's fine. In any case, this is a trouble that Long Chen caused. Furthermore, he's in charge of guarding this place. If there are any problems, it's his responsibility. We'll just calmly watch. Cao Kahn stood on a platform to watch the attack with a pleased smile. You think you're so amazing, Long Chen? Then I want to see just what you'll look like when you die. He, the corrupt path really was fast. They've already taken action in just a few days. Those experts might be masked, but their auras could not be concealed. That disguise was just deceiving themselves. But in the chaos region, everyone liked to act like this. It had already become something of an unspoken rule. After attacking, people would just refuse to admit that it had been done by them. There were over a thousand experts attacking now, and they were all in the Xi'anshan realm. The person leading them was a young man. Perhaps he felt like masking his face was beneath him, but he hadn't disguised himself at all. This man was surrounded by runes and led the corrupt experts to attack. With a wave of his hand, the corrupt experts split into four groups, going toward four mines. Those were the places the Dragonblood Legion were stationed. Seeing this, Cao Kun smiled. Everything was going according to his plan. No matter what the result was, he would report to the Dao sect that all the black gold ore in the mines had been taken away by the attackers. Then he would secretly pocket decades worth of stock for himself. To the Dao sect, that was nothing. But to the Zhao family, it was a large amount of wealth. Not only would they get a favor from the pill tower, but they would also cut down one of their enemies and make a huge amount of money. It could entirely be said as to hit three birds with one stone. Thinking of that, Zhao Kun felt immensely pleased inside. He even had an urge to sing with delight. 
With such a slutty smile, it couldn't be that you have drawn these people over here on purpose, right? Suddenly, an icy voice rang out besides Huo Khan, causing his soul to almost flee in fright. At some unknown point, Long Chen had appeared on the same platform as him, indifferently watching the battle unfold. You, you, how did you come here? Why aren't you defending? If anything happens to those minds, then no matter how many heads you have, they won't be enough for your beheading, cried Cao Khan, startled and furious. Behead me? A person capable of that hasn't been born yet. If you once more fart like that, I'll cut off your head right now, said Long Chen lightly. Kill. Furious roars rang out from the mines. The dragon blood warriors charged at the corrupt experts. Blood filled the sky. Limbs flew everywhere. What shocked the corrupt experts was that these meridian opening brats were like bloodthirsty fiends. Each one of their moves was incredibly ruthless and sharp, and their combat power was too terrifying. Brothers. Kill. Under boss's guidance. During the righteous and corrupt battle on the 108th monastery, we defeated many times our number. In the first monastery, we did the same against a sneak attack from the corrupt path. Now, it's our turn to give them a beating. Are we going to let them escape this time? Gu Yang raised his spear, charging into the thicket of battle. No, the dragon blood warriors seemed to recall their blood-soaked figures fighting with Long Chen. Their blood began to boil. The dragon blood legion was clearly outnumbered but they were incredibly fierce, and in the first impact, they killed quite a few corrupt experts, instantly reducing their morale. In their recollection, the Righteous Path's cultivators were a bunch of cowards who were afraid of death, and so they always treated them as sheep for the reaping. But today, they encountered the Dragonblood Legion, a group of fierce tigers who were incredibly powerful. They felt a chill. It seemed their roles had been reversed. As for the young man leading them, he had been charging straight toward the Zhuanshan Dao sect's main building. He hadn't believed that Long Chen wouldn't appear, but now he believed it. Not only had Long Chen not appeared, but they had also run into trouble. The Dragonblood Legion was too terrifying, and even he was shocked. According to his original orders, he was supposed to wait for other groups before launching a sneak attack. But he was a Grand Celestial, and he thought that he could dominate the entire mining region on his own. So he had ignored the other members of the corrupt path directly coming to kill Long Chen. According to his style, he would simply trample his enemies, and Long Chen would appear sooner or later. He was extremely unconvinced of Long Chen's power. Although he had seen the photographic jades of Long Chen's battles with Yun Wusheng, he considered himself much stronger than Yun Wusheng, strong enough to kill Long Chen. But now the Dragonblood Legion's strength caused him to panic. Their casualties were too high. He wouldn't be able to give an explanation once he returned. He had already ignored the original plan. If something unexpected happened, it would be troublesome for him. He directly charged toward Yu Zifeng's mine. That was because Yu Zifeng was too powerful. Wherever he pointed his sword, experts fell and flesh flew through the air. He had to kill him first. But suddenly, a wind blade slashed through the air. That wind blade was extremely bizarre, as there hadn't been the slightest sign before it appeared. By the time the young man sensed it, it was already right in front of him. He hastily dodged, but he was still injured, a long cut appearing on his face. If he had been any slower, his head would have been cut in two. Who is it? The person who will kill you. A clear voice rang out from the distance. The young man hastily looked in that direction, only to see a lithe woman slowly walking over. Who else could that be other than Tang Wan or? Long Chen had given her the mission to keep watch for any top experts. This opportunity today was truly rare. A celestial had actually sent himself to them. Tang Wan'er naturally wouldn't give up such a chance. She very much wished to know just how strong she currently was, but Long Chen refused to exchange blows with her. Even she didn't know how strong she was. Today, she had a rare chance to test herself. She was filled with excitement. He, little girl, you're pretty beautiful, and you have the rare ability to control wind. Good, good, I've decided, you're mine. The corrupt man's eyes brightened. It was actually his first time seeing such a beautiful woman. In the distance, Long Chen curled his lip. Did this person really think he could subdue Tang Wan'er? Even he didn't have that ability. Who did he think he was? Even Long Chen doesn't have the ability to subdue me. Who do you think you are? Sneered Tang Wan'er. That made Long Chen startled. Tang Wan'er's thoughts had been the same as his. Was this the legendary realm of being mentally connected? Sorry, this place is a bit crowded. Can you get down? Long Chen looked at Cao Kun beside him and frowned slightly. He directly kicked him off the platform and took out a chair, relaxing on it. He would be a peaceful, 
handsome man who would just calmly watch the battle. The four mines were split into two regions. They were less than a few miles from each other. To put it frankly, there were really only two battlefields. Menki and Guo Ran were both in charge of one of them, protecting everyone. Of course, when there was no danger of lives being lost, they wouldn't interfere. Menki was a beast tamer with a soul item. She killed people without them even noticing. As for Guo Ran, he had long since placed himself at a high vantage point, and he would occasionally shoot his crossbow. But although the battle was extremely fierce, it still hadn't reached the point where they needed to join in. Long Chen also hoped they wouldn't have to join in. If they did, that would expose them, and it would also cause the Dragonblood Legion to form a dependence on them. That was not beneficial to the kind of instincts a person needed in the midst of a battle. There was essentially no need for him to worry about those battles. Long Chen simply sat and calmly watched Tang Wan Er. He also wanted to know just how strong she was now. Long Chen? HMPH. A coward who doesn't even dare show his face can be compared to me? Girl, you're pretty. I've taken a fancy to you. Today, no matter what, I'll be collecting you. Get over here. The corrupt man suddenly released his aura, and the runes around him brightened. His runes directly enveloped Tang Wan Er, and he charged. Cry of the Heavenly Deos. Suddenly, heaven and earth shivered as a tide of wind blades appeared by Tang Wan Er's side. In truth, those wind blades were runes, but they were different from ordinary runes. Each rune in and of itself was also a wind blade. Millions of runes now formed a sea of wind blades that easily broke apart the corrupt man's runes. Boom. The corrupt man's runic domain collapsed, and he vomited blood, flying back, filled with shock. Impossible. How can you be a celestial? He didn't dare believe this. Celestials could sense other celestials through their connection with the heavenly deos, but he didn't sense any heavenly deo fluctuations from Tang Wan Er. That was why he refused to believe this. He had actually said he would collect her. But when she summoned her manifestation, he was completely flabbergasted. Tang Wan Er wasn't just capable of summoning her heavenly Dao manifestation. The scope of her manifestation was even larger than his and much more terrifying. Bring out your greatest strength, or you won't last even a few moves. Tang Wan Er icily snorted, extending her arms. Two wind blades appeared in each of her hands. She viciously slashed them toward the corrupt man. Chapter 631 Mighty Fairy Translator Born to be Boom Tang Wan Er's three-foot-long wind blade slashed at the corrupt man. The corrupt man was forced back, but he managed to block with a saber he had taken out. That saber's back was sawtoothed, appearing extremely sinister. Even you think you're fit to use a saber? And you want to challenge him? I really admire your courage, said Tang Wan Er indifferently. Tang Wan Er's impression was that no saber user could compare to Long Chen. Only when a saber was in his hands could it release its true power. That kind of true domineeringness was something only Long Chen possessed. Shut your mouth, slut. I praise your beauty a bit and you act like this? You've really pissed me off. The corrupt man's eye seemed to spit flames. He was a celestial, a heavenly genius. Originally, he had already found it hard to accept that he was to handle someone like Long Chen. Then when he had learned he was supposed to work together with other celestials to handle Long Chen, he had gone crazy with rage. So he hadn't waited for the others and had directly come here to kill Long Chen. But now, before he even encountered Long Chen, he encountered this female fiend, one who was also a celestial. Now thinking of how he had said he would collect her, he felt like he had slapped himself in the face. Grand and noble Lady Wan Er, this sinister corrupt brat is trying to use despicable words to blaspheme your purity. We definitely can't have that. Please use your grand and noble hands to end his soul allowing this world to be truly purified. Tang Wan Er's expression had sunk when she had been cursed by this man, but then Long Chen's words came from the distance. She almost laughed. This scoundrel really was never serious. Tang Wan Er shot forward with her sea of wind blades. Her wind blade slashed down on him, making her appear incredibly imposing. She was just like a cold fairy, albeit a bit fierce. The corrupt man released immense saber images against Tang Wan Er's attacks. Wind blades and saber images crazily collided, ringing out explosions into the sky and shaking the ground. At this point, Long Chen also stood up to watch with rapt attention. He sighed emotionally. A celestial with their own attribute was truly terrifying. Tang Wan Er's wind blades were being supported by her heavenly Dao runes. That power was terrifying, and their durability had reached an abnormal level. The corrupt man was also a celestial, and he even held an enchanted weapon. However, he was unable to truly bring out his weapon's strength. He only cared about the weapon's hardness and durability. 
which allowed him to bring out his own strength. Examining his aura, Long Chen saw that he was slightly weaker than Yun Wusheng, but the difference wasn't too big. And yet, under Tang Wan'er's attacks, he was unable to retaliate, as his runic domain was unable to affect her. Tang Wan'er's own runic domain was too large, almost twice the size of his. The only reason she didn't immediately crush him was because she had yet to familiarize herself with her power. She was unable to control her runes perfectly. Otherwise, she would be able to completely suppress him with just her runic domain. This made Long Chen feel a great deal of pressure. Tang Wan'er had only just gained an initial control over her power, but she was already stronger than Yun Wusheng. She was definitely too powerful. Originally, attribute cultivators were not that common. They were born with an innate affinity toward a kind of energy, and if they then became celestials, gaining the heaven's favor, they would become incredibly powerful. Now, Tang Wan'er was truly giving Long Chen a great deal of pressure. If she continued to grow and fully attuned herself to her power, wouldn't he be the one who was bullied? But there was one thing that made Long Chen feel extremely gratified. That was that when Tang Wan'er used her cry of the heavenly deos, he didn't feel the slightest bit of disgust or dislike. Furthermore, he saw that the heavenly deos didn't display the slightest bit of rejection toward Tang Wan'er. She could freely enjoy its benefits. What is going on? Was it the primal chaos bead? It can even cheat the heavens. Long Chen's heart shook. As someone rejected by the heavenly deos, he had extremely negative feelings toward celestials. Even from afar, he could feel a dislikable aura from them. He had already made his preparations for that. Now, he suddenly thought of Mo Nian. He recalled that when Mo Nian had summoned his cry of the heavenly deos, he also hadn't felt any dislike. One of Mo Nian's heavenly deo seeds had been given to him by Long Chen. Could it be that after going through the primal chaos bead, those heavenly deo runes had also changed? That was incredibly shocking. Just what kind of treasure was the primal chaos bead? How were there so many unpredictable aspects to it? What did it want? Boom. Suddenly, a loud explosion cut off Long Chen's thoughts. He hastily looked forward to see that the corrupt man's saber was shining like the sun. With a single slash, he had destroyed Tang Wan'er's wind blades and sent her flying. Not only that, but he also didn't pause, flashing forward to continue attacking. Long Chen frowned and he was just about to interfere when Tang Wan'er formed a hand seal in front of her. Her sky full of runes formed a huge shield in front of her. Chilling wind shield. Boom. Tang Wan'er's shield instantly shattered when struck by the saber. But the corrupt man's expression suddenly changed, and he hastily retreated. But he was still one step too slow. Tang Wan'er's wind blades hadn't truly shattered, but had been intentionally split apart by her. It only appeared like her shield had been unable to bear his power. Now, the wind blades that had comprised her shield suddenly struck like lightning, slashing into the corrupt man. Unable to completely defend, dozens of cuts appeared on his body, and this was only because he had realized what had happened so quickly. Otherwise, he would have been directly killed. Heavenly Deo Recovery Circulating his Heavenly Deo runes, the corrupt man's injuries quickly healed. His saber once more lit up with a blazing light, and he attacked Tang Wan'er. Unexpected. He actually has a secret technique to activate a portion of an enchanted weapon's power. Long Chen was surprised. Enchanted items had special runes carved onto them, and normally only sea expansion experts could activate those runes. But this corrupt man was also capable of doing so. Although he was only capable of activating a trace of his weapon's power, it was enough for him to reverse the tides. That kind of power was extremely terrifying. Ghost Saber devours soul. All the corrupt man's energy poured into his saber, summoning an immense saber image in the sky. His terrifying power caused the void to rumble. Long Chen was already holding Blood Drinker, prepared to go out. That attack was extremely terrifying. He was worried that Tang Wan'er wouldn't be able to handle it. But Tang Wan'er's expression was still completely calm. Her eyes shone with battle intent, hastily forming hand seals in front of her. The sea of runes around her condensed, forming a crescent moon a mile long. It's that move. Long Chen suddenly recalled how he had obtained a high heaven class battle skill from the Zhuanshan Super Monastery. That was something perfect for Tang Wan'er. Only a wind attribute expert could use this move. Furthermore, she had used her heavenly Deo runes to condense her attack. This attack had already surpassed the scope of power that a battle skill should have. When that crescent moon appeared, the entire world suddenly became silent. It was impossible to hear anything. It was like the only thing in the world was that crescent moon now. Wind moon engulfs stars. With a final hand seal, 
that huge crescent moon suddenly turned into a ray of light, slashing at the corrupt man. Even Long Chen felt a chill when that crescent moon appeared. The original battle skill wasn't too terrifying. The most terrifying part of this attack was that it contained the power of Tang Wan'er's heavenly Dao runes. Boom. The ground exploded as a powerful key wave spread. The people fighting were all sent flying by astral winds. Seeing the astral winds approaching his current location, Long Chen suddenly rolled his eyes and shouted, Everyone, be careful. He jumped off the stage and took a defensive posture. Many people knelt on the ground to minimize the force of the impact. Zhao Kun was a bit bewildered. Although those astral winds were terrifying, he was a half step C expansion expert, and they didn't pose any threat to him. But why did Long Chen seem so solemn? He even gave everyone a warning. When did he become so caring about them? The instant those astral winds reached him, the building was completely destroyed, and Zhao Kun circulated a spiritual key to defend. Boom. Suddenly, Zhao Kun felt like a mountain had crashed into him, and he vomited blood, his whole body almost exploding. His vision darkened, his soul entering a slumber. But before that, there was one question that echoed in his head. How were these astral winds so powerful? He naturally didn't know that someone had added something special to these astral winds. Of course, that person wouldn't be announcing himself. It was Long Chen. After the astral winds passed, everyone saw that the landscape had completely changed. There was a huge crater in the ground. Long Chen smiled and walked over, looking at a graceful figure. He extended a thumbs up, praising, Fairy is mighty. Just at that moment, the ground beneath Long Chen's feet erupted, and a figure stabbed a saber toward him. Chapter 632 Kill Them All Translator Born to be the ground erupted, and a saber stabbed toward Long Chen's chest. Long Chen stretched out a hand. The saber's point was caught by his hand. Long Chen's hand was currently covered with lightning runes, looking like a glove that could completely ignore the saber's sharpness. As expected, you really are unsuited to using sabers. How could a saber user act so sneakily? What a disgrace to the name of saber masters. Long Chen shook his head, looking at the corrupt man. The corrupt man was covered with blood. He had almost been turned into pulp by Tang Wan'er's attack. The most terrifying thing about Tang Wan'er's attack was that after the wind blade slashed onto its target, it would explode, releasing a second wave. Although this second wave was less fierce than the first strike, the most abnormal part about it was its range. It was essentially impossible to dodge. Despite having used his strongest move, this corrupt man had barely managed to block the first impact of Tang Wan'er's wind moon engulfs stars. But although he had blocked the crescent moon, when it had exploded, he had almost been turned into a corpse. The only reason he was alive was because he was a celestial with a powerful physical body. Otherwise, there would have been nothing remaining of him. Tiny crescent blades had become fiends carving up his body. He had exhausted his core runes in order to continuously heal as he was struck. When that wave of wind blades finally ended, he had already run out of energy. So he had hidden himself in the ground, waiting for an opportunity and thinking about how he should handle this situation. And then, Long Chen walked right over to where he was. He didn't hesitate. He directly attacked. What he wanted right now wasn't to kill Long Chen, but to get a trump card. Otherwise, he wouldn't be able to leave here alive. Tang Wan'er was just too terrifying. This attack of hers had exhausted all of his heavenly Dao runes energy. But as a wind attribute expert, a random wind blade from her could kill him. So his sights had been placed on Long Chen. But this plan of his could not be worse. He had no idea just how strong Long Chen really was. When Long Chen grabbed his saber, his berserk thunder force poured into his body, causing his body to stiffen. Just like that, Long Chen pushed the saber back slightly and an enormous force transmitted through it. The corrupt man exploded. The sound of rumbling thunder filled the air. The corrupt expert's soul was about to fly out of his body when endless thunder force destroyed it. A celestial fell just like that. Suddenly, countless heavenly Dao runes appeared in the air, just about to merge back into the world. That was the corrupt man's heavenly Dao seed. It wished to return to heaven and earth. Stay behind, snorted Long Chen. His saber slashed into the runes. Boom. Those runes were instantly shattered. The primal chaos bead wildly circulated, and those shattered runes were absorbed by it. Within the primal chaos space, the strange heavenly Dao tree was taking in those runes, and a fist-sized fruit slowly grew out of it, one with heavenly Dao runes. Another heavenly Dao fruit had been born. What are you all staring for? Kill them all. The corrupt experts and the dragon blood warriors had only just crawled out of the ground when they saw Long Chen kill the corrupt celestial. They were all shocked. 
a celestial had been killed just like that? The corrupt experts were completely dumbfounded. Kill. Hearing Long Chen's order, the Dragonblood warriors roared, attacking the still-stunned corrupt experts. Run. The corrupt experts fell one after another, with the celestial that was leading them dead. They were finally terrified. Don't let a single one escape the Dragonblood warriors' morale surged to unprecedented heights, and they chased after them. Under ordinary circumstances, people wouldn't chase after cornered enemies. That would cause the enemies to truly go all out, even throwing away their own lives to take the attackers down with them. That would increase the casualties. But this battle was an exception. What Long Chen wanted was for the Dragonblood warriors to fight on the border of death. Experiencing that danger would completely solidify their cultivation bases and increase their mental realms. Miserable screams resounded. They were particularly ear-piercing in the night sky. The Zhuangshan Super Monastery's guards and miners all watched this bloody scene from a distance. Why do those people look more savage than the corrupt path? A Zhuangshan expert's shuddering voice rang out quietly. The Dragonblood warriors seemed like fiends reaping the corrupt experts' lives. It had to be known that the Dragonblood warriors were merely at the Meridian Opening Realm, but the Corrupt Path's experts were all Zyanshan experts, and they were actually being chased down to the point that they cried for their parents. Chaotic battles like this were different from ordinary battles. The winner was not decided by technique. Instead, it was decided by who was more vicious. Each stroke of their blades had to be unleashed with the mentality of either you die or I die. The Dragonblood warriors were all elites amongst elites. After undergoing so many huge battles with Long Chen, their wills were as hard as steel. They could smile fearlessly in the face of death. Seeing that over a hundred corrupt experts were about to escape, Guo Ran suddenly took out a huge crossbow. Boom. A huge arrow shot out, exploding in their midst. A bomb on the arrow had exploded, and countless razors sliced through their bodies. These razors were only the size of a fingernail. They were a golden color, and when they exploded in their midst, those corrupt experts were all turned into a bloody mist. Ha 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 ha. This power really is marvelous. Seeing how effective it was, Guo Ran laughed excitedly. Those razors were what he had made out of the treasure item fragments Long Chen had given him. Today was his first time testing them, and their power was truly shocking. These corrupt experts were cut through as easily as tofu whether they tried blocking with shield or weapon. That killing power made Guo Ran incredibly excited. He, brothers, don't just watch. Hurry and clean up the battlefield. Guo Ran laughed mischievously. In this fierce battle, 67 members of the Dragonblood Legion had been heavily injured. If they didn't have Menki and Guo Ran to secretly protect them, perhaps dozens of them would have died from this battle. After all, the corrupt path was not described as fierce and savage for nothing. The fact that there were no casualties in such a fierce battle was practically a miracle. Of those who were heavily injured, there were some whose legs had been severed some whose arms had been crushed, and even some who had been almost cut in two. But as long as they hadn't died immediately, then with Long Chen's medicinal pills, any injuries became minor. Now, after this fierce and bloody battle, there would definitely be a generous reward. After this battle, everyone's auras had been retracted. Not the slightest bit of it leaked out anymore. In fact, their auras were condensed to the peak. At the same time, their mental realms had also greatly advanced. This was what it meant to be true experts baptized by battle. Compared to those greenhouse flowers, they were people who had crawled out of a pile of corpses. They were true warriors. Wan Er, are you alright? Long Chen supported Tang Wan Er, taking out a chair for her. Her face was pale. I was careless. When I used that last move, I received a backlash. I still am unable to control that much power, said Tang Wan Er. You went too all out. You've only just become a celestial. Even though you can summon the cry of the heavenly deos, you're still just a novice. A celestial's power is different from your own power. It relies on being connected to the energy of the world. Your heavenly deo runes are just a guide. You still haven't become accustomed to using heavenly deo energy. So it's difficult to avoid suffering a backlash from such power. Next time, don't go so all out. I worry a great deal for you. Long Chen held Tang Wan Er's hands, distressed at seeing how pale she was. Tang Wan Er gently brushed a stray hair behind her ear and smiled. You rarely say such amiable words to me. What? Are you afraid that I'll put you in your place now that I'm strong? He. Actually, I really would hope to be put in my place by you every day. However, I wouldn't like to do it in such an open place with so many people. It would be best if it was done in a closed room, while lying on a soft bed, with two lit candles. Maybe some rope? Then, you could properly put me in my place. 
Long Chen smiled mischievously. Tang Wan'er blushed and rebuked. You really are a scoundrel. The faint anger on her face and the bashfulness in her eyes was truly a rare beauty. Long Chen's heart pounded, and a fierce heat seemed to come from his eyes. Looking at Tang Wan'er's lips, he actually slowly went down to kiss her. Being looked at like this by Long Chen, Tang Wan'er's heart pounded. She jumped in fright and hastily said, Let me go. Sister Men Ki's coming. Tang Wan'er's had only just escaped when Men Ki arrived. Tang Wan'er was completely red, not daring to look at her. Men Ki smiled slightly. Congratulations on sister for displaying your divine might, defeating a celestial. You really brought honor to us sisters. He, Men Ki, you don't need to get jealous, because you'll also quickly become a celestial. Long Chen laughed and a heavenly day of fruit appeared in his hand, causing Men Ki and Tang Wan, er to jump in shock. Chapter 633 Sinister Plot Translator Born to be after the battlefield was cleaned up, Long Chen examined everyone's injuries. It went without saying that this battle had been extremely fierce. Although they had all undergone complete tempering before advancing to Meridian Opening, it was still difficult for them to battle Xi'anchen experts. But luckily, there hadn't been that many enemies. They had only been ten times the Dragonblood Legion. If it had been more, Long Chen wouldn't have dared let them take this risk. The death of any one of his brothers would cause him great grief. But there was no way around this. They had to take advantage of this opportunity. The cultivation bases and numbers of their enemies had been perfectly at the limit of what the Dragonblood Legion could handle. If there had been more enemies, there would have been terrible casualties. Their enemies had been just strong enough and the perfect number to give the Dragonblood Legion the best tempering. Too strong and they wouldn't be able to handle them. Too few and there wouldn't be any pressure or feeling of death. The most gratifying thing was that not a single person had died. Reality was just this cruel. Long Chen had no choice but to make everyone go through this danger. However, if they didn't take this risk this time, the Dragonblood Legion's power would be thrown behind. Next time when they had to face enemies, it would be even more dangerous. Long Chen's own cultivation speed was too fast. If he continued like this, the Dragonblood Warriors wouldn't be able to keep up with him. They wouldn't be able to fight shoulder to shoulder with him. He understood each Dragonblood Warrior. They were all hot-blooded warriors who would rather die on the battlefield than be abandoned, discarded, and thrown away. That was their own dignity. Long Chen also had never had any thoughts about abandoning them. So the only choice was for them to take on trials and dangers with him. Those who had been injured would be fully healed in just three days after consuming Long Chen's personally refined healing pills. Long Chen had everyone go rest. As for the mines? Fuck. If anyone could find the mines anymore then they could go steal from them if they wanted to. Long Chen really had to admire himself Novaloon.com The entire mining region had been destroyed. Who could find the entrance to the mines? Let alone the Zhuanshan Dao sect's mines. Even two neighboring mines had been buried. But it wasn't so important. The black gold ore was almost depleted. Thus, no one had any hope toward that elusive phoenix blood black gold. As for the miners, they only worked part-time nowadays. During the past few days, there hadn't been any mining at all, so there was no one buried underground, and so, the mines could just be left buried. This way, they also didn't need to worry about being attacked for the mines. The original buildings had been destroyed now, so everyone could only live in tents. Within a certain tent, Zhao Kun lay on the ground, his eyes closed and blood pouring out of his seven orifices. His face was an unhealthy yellow color, and his aura was incredibly weak. Long Chen, can you save the district chief? If this continues, he might die. The elder who had once threatened Long Chen begged him for help now. This elder was bewildered. Zhao Kun's cultivation base was the highest here. But then why was he the one to receive the heaviest injuries now? I could. Long Chen rubbed his chin thoughtfully. Really? Great. Hurry and heal him. The problem is, why should I save him? The elder almost died from rage. We're all members of the same sect here. How can you just watch as someone dies? How can I just watch as someone dies? I really have to admire you. Just how did you manage to make your skin so thick? When we were facing those corrupt enemies, you all just hid in here like tortoises. Why didn't you think of such sanctimony at that time? Snorted Long Chen. That was. The elder was speechless. At this time, Men Ki suddenly sighed. Long Chen, let it go. After all, we're all members of the same sect at this time. We should be united against outer enemies. Right, right. This lady's words are entirely correct. We should be united, cried the elder. Long Chen sneered and didn't say anything. Men Ki walked over and examined Cao Khan. 
The district chief's cultivation base is high, but his spiritual strength is too weak. He definitely must have tried using his spiritual strength to examine the battle, and as a result, he didn't retract his spiritual energy in time and received a backlash to his soul. The elder's heart shook. Menki was correct. The Zhao family didn't have any talent when it came to spiritual strength. As for Zhao Khan, his spiritual strength was famed for being weak. He didn't question her words at all. However, he couldn't understand why Zhao Khan would use his spiritual strength that way. Perhaps only he knew. But then how can you save him? Asked the elder. After all, Zhao Khan was their leader. They had to rely on him for everything. Although the elder was also a member of the Zhao family, he hadn't been given knowledge about many things. Also, Zhao Khan hadn't passed anything to him, so it was all too easy for him to mess up. That was why he was so anxious now. Ah, fine. I'll sacrifice a portion of my spiritual strength to help heal his soul. Sighed Men Ki. What? Who do you think he is? He's not worthy of you sacrificing your spiritual strength. Have you gone stupid? Long Chen raged, his expression completely changing. Long Chen, you have to pay more attention to the big picture. Temporarily put down this enmity of yours, said Men Ki. Long Chen snorted with rage and left. Seeing this, Men Ki said to the elder, Help protect me. Don't let anyone disturb me. I'll heal the district chief's injuries. Two hours later, Men Ki left Cao Kun's tent. When she returned to the Dragonblood Legion's area, Long Chen was already laughing, coming out of his tent. His previous anger had disappeared. How was it? Did you get it? He asked. You really are a scoundrel. That act of yours was so real that I even thought you got angry, said Men Ki. He, quick, get in. Tell me, what are they up to? Long Chen pulled Men Ki into his tent. Tang Wan'er was also present. After resting for a while, Tang Wan'er was no longer as pale as before. This is how Khan really did have a plot. Long Chen, you really were smart. You even thought of such a plan. Men Ki looked at Long Chen and sighed. He, over praise, over praise. Long Chen laughed mischievously. When it came to handling bad people, he always had many cons. How Khan had truly been schemed against by Long Chen. When the shockwaves from Tang Wan'er and the corrupt celestials attacks had reached him, Long Chen had directly used his spiritual strength to force Cao Kun into a slumber. But Long Chen hadn't expected Cao Kun's spiritual strength to be so weak. This move of his had almost dispersed his soul. Luckily, bad people always had the protection of the heavens. He hadn't died. So Long Chen had come up with an act with Men Ki, having Men Ki go save him. Yes, she was to save him. But at the same time, Men Ki had used a secret technique to rifle through Cao Kun's memories. This was different from Soul Sark. It required the target to not have the slightest bit of resistance at all and a comparatively long time to do. That was why Men Ki had wasted two hours in order to obtain the information that she wanted. At the same time, she had implanted some memories in him. Memories that said that back then, he had used his spiritual strength to probe Tang Wan'er and the corrupt celestials battle. As a result, he had been heavily injured. As for why he would do something so stupid, that was his own problem. In any case, once he woke up, he would definitely remember that he had done that stupid thing, which had resulted in this. That was enough. Long Chen, perhaps we've really fallen into a huge trap this time, said Men Ki worriedly. It's fine. I was aware of that. But to raise the Dragonblood Legion, we had no choice but to enter the trap. Otherwise, the Dragonblood Legion would require a long time to stabilize their foundations, and only then could they advance. But we don't have enough time for that, said Long Chen helplessly. How could he not know this was a trap? But he had no choice. The Zhao family intentionally leaked the information that you've come to the chaos region to the corrupt path. From Zhao Kun's memories, I also learned that their attacks won't stop here, nor will that celestial today be the only one. In fact, the attack today was entirely not within their plans. They were supposed to gather multiple groups before giving us a thunderous strike. Furthermore, behind this matter is also the Pill Tower. Although Zhao Kun isn't aware of the whole plan, he has had interactions with the Zhao family's experts, and they implied their intentions. The Zhao family originally had enmity with you. Now they can even get a favor from the Pill Tower's Huo family, and they are using the blades of the corrupt path. They don't even have to get their own hands dirty to cut you down. Then when the time comes, they'll announce that the mine was sneak attacked, and all the ore in the mine was stolen. Then that stolen black gold ore will enter the Zhao family's pockets. It is truly a marvelous scheme, sighed Men Ki. She was extremely shocked by this plot, but Long Chen's expression was extremely calm. 
He wasn't at all surprised by this kind of trap. He asked, how much did Cao Kun know? He doesn't have much information about the corrupt path. All he knew was that they won't just send one celestial. They want to kill us in one sudden strike. However, according to his expectations, the attack should have come between half a month to a month from now. As for these fellows today, they were a complete accident, said Men Qi. Not just one, half a month to a month from now? He, not bad, not bad. They're giving us a lot of valuable time. Long Chen smiled. Two days from now, I'll bring all the members of the Dragon Blood Legion away from here. As for Men Qi, you focus on refining the Heavenly Day of Fruit, and one -er will protect you. You're going to leave? Could it be? Yes. You've also seen that the Dragon Blood Warriors have already studied their auras after this battle. In truth, they've long since reached the peak of Meridian Opening. I had them suppress their cultivation basis, not letting them advance. But now I'm prepared to give them the Heaven Advancing Pills. They'll be able to advance perfectly to the Xi'anchen Realm. In other words, once we return, he, we'll give those corrupt experts a nice surprise. Long Chen laughed. Men Qi and Tang Wan Er looked at each other. If all the Dragon Blood Legion advanced to the Xi'anchen Realm, then they would be a pack of wolves and tigers. Who could possibly defeat Chiring them? Chapter 634 Collective Tribulation Translator Born to be five days later Two huge violet phoenix sparrows that were carrying all the dragon blood warriors arrived at an extremely barren place. This place was a whole day's travel from the chaos region. This is a good place for everyone to undergo tribulation. Long Chen looked around and saw the ground here was all hard rock. Boss, you really want us to go through tribulation together? Asked Guo Ran. What? Now that you have money, you've become afraid of dying. Long Chen laughed. After destroying that corrupt army, they had obtained over 300 spatial rings. Unfortunately, the rest had been destroyed in the battle or destroyed by their owners on the verge of death. But even though it was just 300 rings, there were over 50,000 middle grade spirit stones in them. Of course, those spirit stones all ended up in Guo Ran's possession. So Guo Ran had immediately become a rich person. Boss, the tribulation will set its power according to the strongest one of us. With Gu Yang's terrifying physical body, once the tribulation is set according to his level, I won't be able to survive, cried Guo Ran. Just one of Gu Yang's arms was already about the same width as his leg. The difference was too big. Don't worry, your tribulations are focused mostly on baptism, not destruction. The only ones who ever died to tribulations were just too weak. Heavenly tribulation is extremely beneficial to the physical body. I'm confident in all of you, so I'm sure you can survive group tribulation. You'll be profiting from Gu Yang. The more powerful tribulation lightning will temper your body even better. Once you've gone through the tribulation, let alone the fact that your cultivation base will have advanced, just the strength of your physical body will make you feel like you're dreaming. Of course, in this world, there's no free fruit. In a bit, you'll all be very miserable. But don't worry, I will properly record your plaintive looks with a photographic jade. Long Chen laughed. Boss, you're too evil. You should go through tribulation with us. That's the only way it's fair, said Gu Yang. Go through tribulation with you. Long Chen laughed. If he underwent his tribulation with them, this world would no longer have a dragon blood legion. All right, everyone stop complaining. Prepare yourselves. You have all reached the peak of meridian opening a long time ago. If you hadn't suppressed your cultivation basis, some of you would have already broken through. After going through that baptism of blood and fire, your realms have completely stabilized. In a bit, I'll leave, and you'll all consume the heaven advancing pills at the same time. This medicinal pill can allow you to advance perfectly to the Xi'anchen realm without leaving any flaw in your foundation. Once you've advanced, you'll have to face heavenly tribulation. The baptism of heavenly tribulation is now just a test to the physical body. It is also a kind of tempering to your will. When the tribulation comes down, you must take advantage of the opportunity. Use the power of the tribulation to expel the impurities in your bodies. The Xi'anchen realm is the true start of cultivation. It's extremely important. A flawless body will allow you to cultivate twice as fast with half the effort in the future. All right, I won't say any more. Prepare the heaven advancing pills. As soon as I leave, consume them. Long Chen brought little snow away. When Long Chen was standing at the peak of a barren mountain a hundred miles away, everyone consumed their heaven advancing pills. As soon as the pills entered their mouths, they dissolved. They felt their spiritual key slowly rising. Everyone relaxed as best as they could, not making any movements. 
They simply allowed the medicinal pill to do its work. Their spiritual key continued to rise, circulating through their bones, then their flesh, then converging in their dantians. A huge whirlpool formed in their dantians. The whirlpool began to spin faster and faster. In the end, a loud rumbling came from their bodies. Their key, blood, tendons, bones, and meridians all reached their peak states. The rumbling grew louder, and their powerful auras exploded from their bodies. They had broken through the barrier. If it was before the Xi'anchen realm, they would have already advanced. But now it was different. They had to undergo the baptism of heavenly tribulation. Only after that would their spiritual key transform from Haoshan key to Xi'anchen key, and only then would they be true Xi'anchen experts. There were only two possibilities once you broke through the barrier. One was to succeed in withstanding the lightning tribulation, while the other was failing and being turned to dust by the tribulation. Everyone broke through at the same time. Over 300 pillars of key soared into the sky, causing space to shake. Endless black clouds filled the sky. It's this small. Long Chen couldn't help being dumbfounded. The black clouds only covered a hundred miles. Buzz. A tempest of lightning rained down, crashing down on the Dragonblood Legion. A-H-H. -H. Quite a few of them let out startled screams. They had no experience with tribulation lightning, and in this first attack, they turned numb and unable to move. What are you shouting for? This little drizzle is nothing. It's fine if you can't move. Draw the thunder force into your bodies to temper your flesh, shouted Long Chen. The panicking Dragonblood warriors immediately calmed down a great deal. This was heavenly tribulation, and it contained the might of the heavens. To say that they weren't afraid would be a lie. In front of the heavens' might, the human race was as minute as ants. But Long Chen's shout told them that he was watching from nearby, and it gave them an indescribable comfort. It was as if as long as Long Chen was present, there was nothing to fear. They hastily acted according to what he said, slowly drawing that thunder force into them to temper their bodies. They had trained in a high heaven class cultivation technique, so their physical bodies were extremely powerful. But even so, they had to block over 90% of the thunder force outside their bodies. Some of them had been too panicked and had drawn in too much thunder force, causing them to let out miserable screams. However, in less than a minute, everyone had gotten used to it. They drew the thunder force in in accordance with the strength of their physical bodies. Fuck. As expected, it really is different. This counts as heavenly tribulation? How discriminatory. Long Chen had never felt that heavenly tribulation could be so gentle. The heavenly tribulation was coming down gently and slowly, like a maiden gently caressing their faces. But his heavenly tribulation was like an explosive magical beast attacking him with all its power. The difference was truly too great. Ao Wu, Little Snow let out a quiet growl. Bear with it for now. Wait for them to finish. And then you can undergo your tribulation, said Long Chen. Little Snow had also sensed that his tribulation was about to come. In the past few days, he had been extremely anxious, unable to stay still. Just now, he told Long Chen his heavenly tribulation was about to arrive. Tribulations were different for magical beasts. The tribulation came first, and only then would they advance. It was the opposite of how humans advanced first and then had to face tribulation. However, Long Chen still had to keep an eye on the Dragonblood Legion as they faced their tribulation. Little Snow had to endure it for a bit longer. An incense sticks worth of time later, the black clouds in the sky began to lighten, a sign they were about to dissipate. Originally, for a meridian opening expert facing their Xi'anchen tribulation, the tribulation would not last more than five breaths time. The reason the Dragonblood Legion had such a long tribulation was because they had undergone it together. The lightning tribulation had been extremely gentle, never releasing any furious power on them. That allowed the Dragonblood Warriors to temper their bodies easily. The Dragonblood Warriors were now drenched. Their skin was covered in black stains that emitted a disgusting smell. Those were the impurities that had been in their bodies. Within those impurities were also pill toxins. However, the Dragonblood Warriors were all incredibly excited. They felt like their physical bodies had strengthened by over ten times. Furthermore, their spiritual key had already started to gradually transform from a gaseous state to a liquid state. In the future, the spiritual key in their bodies would no longer be called spiritual key, but spiritual yuan. Spiritual key and spiritual yuan were qualitatively different. They were simply not on the same level. It could be said that only after undergoing their tribulation could they count as true Xi'anchen experts. Each wave of their hands could draw on natural energy. They felt like their whole bodies were brimming with power. Gu Yang, release your full aura to provoke the heavenly tribulation. Suddenly, 
A shout rang out that caused everyone to turn dumbfounded. Long Chen wanted Gu Yang to provoke the tribulation? Wasn't that just courting death? Don't hesitate. If you still don't attack, the tribulation will dissipate, shouted Long Chen. Gu Yang's face was green. To release your aura like this in a tribulation was sending yourself to your death. That was common knowledge, but he couldn't ignore Long Chen's orders. Clenching his teeth, his powerful aura soared straight into the sky. Rumble. The black cloud seemed to become furious. Heaven and earth shook. The black clouds instantly spread further than before. The previous lightning had just been the thickness of raindrops. But now, each bolt was almost a foot thick. Landing on their bodies, their skin immediately broke and blood was flowing out. Don't be afraid. Defend with your full strength. Your physical bodies still have a great room for improvement. Don't waste this chance, shouted Long Chen. As an alchemist, Long Chen could see that everyone's bodies still contained a lot of impurities. The lightning's strength hadn't been strong enough, so he had no choice but to have Gu Yang provoke the tribulation. Hearing this, everyone understood his intentions. Although pain racked their bodies, they clenched their teeth, not making a sound. Gu Yang, continue, shouted Long Chen, looking up at the sky. Gu Yang threw caution to the wind, not holding back the slightest bit of his aura. Out of all the dragon blood warriors, his aura was the strongest. When he released it, even space would rumble. The heavenly tribulation became even more furious, the thunderbolts multiplying in thickness. Guo Ran was the first to not be able to hold on, vomiting out blood. He cried, Boss, save me. Long Chen ignored him. He also ignored the other miserable dragon blood warriors whose bones and muscles were being ripped and torn apart by the lightning. He was focused on the clouds. Suddenly, the black clouds became still, and an unprecedented destructive aura spread. It's over. We're all dead. The dragon blood warriors immediately despaired. The heaven's fury could destroy this entire world. They would definitely die. TCH. You're scared from just this? Grow up a bit. Little Snow. Cut it down. Chapter 635 Little Snow's Tribulation Translator Born to be a huge sphere of wind blade suddenly pierced straight through the tribulation clouds. It then exploded, and a huge hole appeared in the 300-mile tribulation clouds. Only then could they all tell that it was still daytime. The dragon blood warrior's eyes almost popped out of their heads. He, brothers, not bad. You can rest. The rest will be Little Snow's battle, said Long Chen. He patted Little Snow on the back. Heaven and earth trembled. A terrifying pressure descended from the sky. The tribulation clouds instantly healed and spread even further, covering an area of 3,000 miles. Terrifying heavenly might caused all the dragon blood warriors to turn pale. Seeing this, Guo Ran was already lying powerlessly on the ground. Staying by Long Chen's side required a powerful heart. Boss, are you trying to play us to death? Little Snow, let's go. The tribulation has already locked onto you. Long Chen rode on Little Snow's back as Little Snow turned into a bolt of white lightning, speeding into the distance. At the same time, the tribulation clouds chased after them, bringing down boundless pressure. Countless thunderbolts were surging within the clouds. That pressure made it so even breathing was difficult. The power of this lightning was too terrifying. What is going on? Li Qi struggled up from the ground, looking in the direction where Long Chen had gone with horror. Boss is bringing the tribulation away. Is he also planning on advancing? Gu Yang struggled up, his whole body covered with blood. Will boss be alright? Asked Song Mingguan. The dragon blood legion no longer called Long Chen senior apprentice brother, nor did they call him legion commander. Instead, they all called him boss. That appellation was a bit roguish, but it also gave them a greater feeling of closeness. Another reason for this appellation was because Long Chen's character was simply not at all like a standard commander. So calling him boss was felt to be much more suitable by everyone. Your worries are all for nothing. Who do you think boss is? What danger would befall him? Those who can stand. Help me up. I feel like the lightning almost turned me to mush. Guo Ran needed help in order to stand. There was no way around it. As he was the person with the weakest physical body here. Even weaker than the women. His injuries were the heaviest. Let's go see what boss is doing. With everyone supporting each other. They all got up. Although their injuries were heavy, there was no way for them to heal with their minds at peace. They had to go and see what was happening. After getting over a high mountain, they saw the scene clearly. They were all dumbfounded. Thousands of miles away, the entire area had become a sea of lightning. They couldn't even see Long Chen or Little Snow's figures. A-H-H. Suddenly, one of the dragon blood warriors held his head and screamed. Guo Ran harshly chided. Fool. 
that lightning tribulation is so terrifying, but you still used your spiritual strength to probe it. You really don't want your life anymore. That warrior's spiritual strength was exceptionally strong. He had wanted to use his divine sense to investigate what was happening in the lightning sea. As a result, his spiritual energy had only just touched the lightning region when it was forced back, his soul almost tearing apart. I just worry about boss. He clenched his head, his face pale. He really had almost died. I've already said that boss isn't someone we need to worry about. If you want to worry, worry about yourselves. Sit down, take your medicine, and heal. As long as the lightning continues, we know boss is still there and alive. There's no need to worry. After saying that, Guo Ran consumed a healing pill. He felt like his body was about to fall apart. The others also hastily sat and consumed healing pills, keeping one eye on the endless lightning sea. Although it was thousands of miles away, they could all sense how terrifying that lightning was. It was practically apocalyptical. The tribulation is shrinking. It should be about to end. I can see boss and little snow. Heavens, have my eyes broken. They were shocked to see little snow facing the lightning tribulation in the sky. His hair was standing on end, and he roared furiously. The lightning crashing down on his body was unable to harm him in the slightest. As for Long Chen, he was sitting on the ground not far away and sipping tea from a cup. That leisurely appearance made all of them flabbergasted. Every streak of those thunderbolts would pose immense danger to each of the dragon blood warriors. But to Long Chen and Little Snow, they were like a light drizzle. This was just the first wave of Little Snow's tribulation, the weakest wave. Long Chen and Little Snow could essentially ignore it. Just now, when Long Chen had been ordering everyone, he had shouted so much that his throat had gotten sore. Now was the perfect time to moisten his throat. He hadn't expected the Dragon Blood Legion to see this. He hastily swallowed all the Queen Bee honey in his cup and threw the cup away, looking seriously at the tribulation clouds in the sky. Is it really unable to sense my presence? Long Chen was a bit bewildered. He had already made his preparations to undergo this tribulation with Little Snow. Last time, when he had interfered with Little Snow's tribulation, the Heavenly Tribulation had immediately grown more powerful and attacked him. But this time, the Heavenly Tribulation seemed to not be able to see him. All the power was focused on Little Snow. He was merely affected by some residual waves that made him sink into thought. Could the Heavenly Deus also be hoodwinked? Otherwise, how could they not notice him? Or could it be that as long as he didn't bring out his full strength, they wouldn't notice him? Suddenly, the sea of lightning disappeared. The clouds roiled, and huge balls of lightning fell like meteorites. Each one of them was dozens of meters thick, smashing toward Little Snow and Long Chen. Seeing this scene, all the Dragon Blood warriors' hearts clenched. How was this a baptism? This was clearly trying to exterminate them. Compared to Little Snow's tribulation, their own tribulation had been nothing. Any of these lightning balls could exterminate them in body and soul. Little Snow roared, shooting out a huge wind blade. Huge explosions erupted whenever that wind blade met a lightning ball. These lightning balls were different from the previous lightning. The energy within them was even more berserk and filled with a destructive aura. Little Snow had no choice but to dodge and block them. Long Chen didn't have to do that though. When those lightning balls landed on his body, they exploded. Their powerful thunder force merely caused his body to feel a bit numb. He smiled slightly. His previous lightning tribulations really hadn't been for nothing. He had an extremely high resistance toward lightning now. Lightning runes poured into his body, wreaking havoc. But then the lightning snake tattoo on his arm lit up, and those runes were all instantly devoured. Hey, don't get agitated. This kind of thunder force isn't even a snack for you. Long Chen rubbed the tattoo. It had an urge to charge out and devour all of those lightning spheres. Previously, the lightning serpent had absorbed the lightning monster's rune and fallen into a slumber. During that period, Long Chen was only able to borrow a slight amount of its power for some attacks. Recently, it had woken, but Long Chen still hadn't used it, instead reserving it as a trump card. The current lightning serpent was filled with a destructive aura. Having absorbed that huge lightning rune, it had undergone a large transformation. Not only had it grown stronger, but its intelligence had also grown. It could directly express its emotions to Long Chen. Just now, it had been about to charge out and gorge itself. But Long Chen had stopped it. The lightning serpent really wasn't picky about its food. However, this level of lightning was unable to give it any benefits. Little Snow's tribulation was terrifying, but it was still greatly lacking compared to Long Chen's previous tribulation. 
Perhaps it was because Little Snow's constitution wasn't very powerful, so the lightning's strength also wasn't so high. Don't worry, you'll quickly get an enormous feast, comforted Long Chen. Rumbling filled the air. The endless lightning balls continued to fall for an incense stick's worth of time before finally stopping. In the end, Little Snow was covered with blood. Little Snow's strengths were his attack and speed, and his defense was his weak point. So, although Long Chen could ignore this level of lightning, he couldn't. However, Long Chen still had Little Snow endure it, hoping Little Snow could continue until the limit of his physical body. Although this heavenly tribulation was entirely destructive, it was also a kind of trial. It wasn't something that only targeted the physical body. If that had been the case, then Long Chen would have directly used his Thunder Force to help temper Little Snow. The most important aspect was the will of the heavenly deos contained in the tribulation. Only if you were capable of resisting that could you count as a true expert. This was a trial for the will. This kind of tempering was even more precious than the tempering of the physical body. Many people might not be afraid of death, but in the face of heavenly tribulation, they all felt terror from the depths of their souls. If you wanted to cultivate, you had to control that innate terror. Only by enduring this kind of trial could you truly fight fearlessly in battles. Boom. In the sky. All the tribulation clouds gathered together and disappeared. The only thing remaining was a huge lightning monster that charged at Little Snow. All right, you can have that fellow. The lightning tattoo on Long Chen's arm lit up, and a ray of light shot out. A thousand meter lightning python shot over. Chapter 636 Aura Concealing Pills Translator Born to be Boom The two enormous bodies collided, filling the sky with blinding light. Suddenly, the lightning serpent released a heaven-shaking roar as it underwent a fierce battle with the lightning monster. The lightning monster was even larger than the lightning serpent. It had originally been charging straight at Little Snow, but being blocked by the lightning serpent, it was unable to charge through. The lightning serpent opened its mouth and ferociously bit the lightning monster, forcibly tearing a part of its flesh away. That wasn't truly flesh. Its body was made of countless lightning runes. After swallowing those runes, the lightning serpent became even more excited and battled even more ferociously. The lightning monster didn't seem to have any intelligence. It simply crazily tried to charge past to get to Little Snow, not attacking the lightning serpent. However, the lightning serpent blocked it, taking bites out of it with great zeal. Little Snow, fall back. Don't let the lightning monster attack you. The lightning serpent still wasn't a match for this lightning monster, and it was unable to fully block it. However, the lightning monster didn't attack the lightning serpent. It seemed as if its unconscious mind told it that it couldn't attack an existence similar to it. Of course, the lightning serpent didn't have that thought. It was like a starving beast that had finally encountered a mountain of meat, and it was crazily devouring the lightning monster. Each time it swallowed a portion of the lightning monster's body, its own body would grow. As its body grew, its aura was also becoming stronger. Heavens, when did boss raise such a terrifying houseboat? Guo Ran and the others were all stupefied. They were filled with shock as they looked at the huge lightning serpent. The lightning serpent crazily devoured the lightning monster, constantly strengthening itself. In just a few breaths, the lightning monster actually began to shrink. As for the lightning serpent, it went from 1000 meters long to 1500 meters. Furthermore, two protrusions grew out of its head. The lightning serpent was transforming into a lightning python. Legend said that after a millennium of cultivation, a serpent could become a python, a python could become a drake, and a drake could become a dragon. 1. As for the difference between the serpent and the python, it was based on the two protrusions coming out of the head. Those two protrusions, if the python ever managed to become a dragon, would grow into horns. Otherwise, no matter how big a serpent became, it would always just be a large serpent. It would not be called a python. Now that the lightning serpent had become a lightning python, Long Chen's heart shook. Could it be that the lightning python could later transform into a lightning drake and then into a lightning dragon? If that was possible, then wouldn't it also be possible for the flame serpent? If he properly raised them, then in the future, he wouldn't even need to do anything. He could just summon two huge dragons to oppress all his opponents. If he could become a mighty dragon tamer in the future, flying on dragons through the sky causing the entire world to tremble before him. Just who could oppose him? Suddenly, a loud explosion rang out. The huge lightning monster was completely entangled with the lightning python. It was unable to resist. While the lightning python continuously grew larger from consuming it, eventually, 
the lightning python grew so much stronger that the lightning monster wasn't even able to resist anymore, and it was completely devoured. After swallowing the last bit of it, the lightning python grew to a length of 2500 meters. A fierce pressure came from it as it swam in the air for a few circles before turning into a bolt of lightning that returned to Long Chen's arm. The tattoo on his arm had also transformed, looking the same as the lightning python. Long Chen looked up and saw that the tribulation clouds had already scattered. Little Snow's tribulation had ended. It ended just like this. Long Chen was a bit bewildered. How could the lightning tribulation go by so easily this time? Suddenly, he had a thought. Could it be that by concealing his cultivation base, the tribulation had been tricked? But how was that possible? Wasn't it said that the heavenly deos could not be tricked? Any smoke screens were complete jokes in front of the heavenly deos. However, if the tribulation had sensed his cultivation base, it shouldn't have ended so easily. It should have fiercely attacked him. Was it the primal chaos bead? Long Chen pondered it for a long moment. He had kept his cultivation base at the mid-meridian opening realm the entire time. In other words, his cultivation base had been lower than Little Snow's. So then, had the Heavenly Deos missed him because of that? Other than that, he also hadn't personally interfered with the Lightning Tribulation. It was the Lightning Python that had helped Little Snow in the end. Was it that the Tribulation still had familiar feelings toward the Lightning Python? The Lightning Monster had only defended the entire time without counter-attacking. The only thing in its eyes had been Little Snow which was the only reason it had been devoured so easily. Could it be that the heavenly deos themselves were merely a set of laws, and there were also ways to cheat them? Long Chen seemed to have understood something. Boss, are you all right? Guo ran and the others ran over in panic. Hmm? What could be wrong? Wasn't it just a nice bath? Laughed Long Chen. Long Chen returned Little Snow to his spiritual space, allowing him to rest. Although Little Snow had suffered injuries from this tribulation, they weren't very serious. Once Little Snow recovered, he would naturally enter the Xianchen realm, becoming a terrifying sixth-rank magical beast. How do you all feel? Asked Long Chen. I feel too terrified. That lightning tribulation was practically apocalyptical, said Gu Yang with a shuddering voice. The others all felt the same. Little Snow's tribulation had been too terrifying. I wasn't talking about that. I was talking about your bodies. Last time. I used medicine to help you expel some of the toxins in your bodies. Now, the heavenly tribulation helped you expel them another time. Your bodies should have reached an almost flawless point. That creates a practically perfect foundation for you all. Starting now, you'll all start on a completely brand new journey. The Xianchen realm is the start of a whole new cultivation path. It's the same as the Haoshan's key condensation realm. The foundation is extremely important. I trust that after today. All of you will advance by leaps and bounds on your cultivation paths. Long Chen cupped his fists toward them. Seeing them all advance perfectly, he was even more excited than them. It's all because of boss's patronage. Guo Ran solemnly sucked up. Scram. This bootlicking of yours is too disgraceful. Cursed Long Chen. Everyone laughed heartily as they were all filled with emotion. They had finally reached the Xianchen realm. Furthermore, they were Xianchen experts with limitless potential and that had all been given to them by Long Chen. Before they had encountered Long Chen, they had viewed the Xianchen realm as a lifelong goal. There were even some who would have been completely satisfied if they could reach Meridian opening. But now, they found that the Xianchen realm was just the start. Long Chen would lead them to even greater heights, allowing them to see a wider sky for themselves. If you want to shout to release your emotions, go ahead. Otherwise, you might stifle yourselves to death. Long Chen laughed. Ha 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 ha. I finally become a Xianchen expert. Let me see just who dares still look down on me. Fuck. Now that I've become a Xianchen expert, I've finally brought honor to my ancestors. It's already been several centuries since a Xianchen expert has appeared in my family. I'm going to get stronger. So strong that I become the head of the entire Xuanchen Super Monastery. The head of the entire world. The brother. You've gone too far. With boss present, you can't become the head. One of them cut off that brother's cry. Oh, oh, boss, I was wrong. Apologized that fellow. Long Chen laughed. He could understand these fellows' emotions. The delight of having one's strength explosively grow was truly amazing. All right, I'm glad you're all happy. I don't want to give you all a blow. But the Xianchen realm is just a beginning. Don't get too conceited. Although you've all advanced, your Haoshan Qi has only just transformed into Xianchen Qi. You'll still need some time to get used to your new power. 
We gained many Xi'anchen weapons recently, but those weapons all possess an evil air that isn't suitable for you. But don't get discouraged, because Guo Ran has already prepared weapons for you. Just go get them from him once we get back. However, this situation came a bit too suddenly, and Guo Ran has many other things to do. So the only available weapons are sabers, swords, spears, and staves, the main most common weapons. Use those for now, and later you can find more suitable Xi'anchen weapons. Guo Ran often forged Xi'anchen weapons as practice. However, when it came to carving runes, his skills were still extremely lacking. The ethereal crafting secret record was too high level and was too difficult to comprehend. For now, he could only use ordinary runes. Although these Xi'anchen weapons weren't crafted so well, the material used to make them was top-notch. Their hardness far surpassed ordinary Xi'anchen weapons. As for the corrupt path's weapons, the majority all had disgusting runes to absorb blood, refined souls, and other sinister things. Their weapons were too evil and not suitable for righteous experts to use. The weapons they had gained from the corrupt path would essentially all be tossed into the furnace to be smelted for their materials. Everyone, consume these aura concealing pills. That way, your auras will still seem to be at the late meridian opening realm. As long as you don't release your aura, no one will be able to sense your true cultivation basis. Long Chen distributed the medicinal pills. This way, when they returned to the mining site, it wouldn't cost too many waves. Otherwise, seeing that over 300 people had advanced to the Xi'anchen realm would be too shocking. Boss, have you also consumed an aura concealing pill? Guo Ran asked suddenly. They had all noticed that even after all this time, Long Chen's aura still remained in the mid meridian opening realm. Now seeing the aura concealing pills, they came to a sudden comprehension. You know too much. Long Chen winked. They all suddenly realized that Long Chen had definitely concealed his own cultivation base. But why would he do that? When Long Chen led them back to the mining site, Zhao Kun had already awoken, but his face was still pale, as if his blood had been sucked by a leech. Long Chen, how brazen. How could you take people away from the mines without reporting it? Do you not place this district chief in your eyes? Roared Zhao Kun furiously. Chapter 637 The Powerful Enemies Finally Appear Translator Born to be after Zhao Kun had woken up, he had felt like his head was splitting apart. It was only after asking the Zhao family's elder that he learned what had happened. He really had never imagined that it was Men Qi who had saved him. He had only just gone to express his thanks when he heard that Long Chen had led his people away, leaving behind only Men Qi and Tang Wan Er. He had almost died from terror at that time. He had thought Long Chen had run off. If that had happened, then all their plans would have been for naught, and he would definitely not be able to bear the consequences. Now hearing that Long Chen had returned, he immediately rushed out, seeing Long Chen and the Dragonblood warriors all in high spirits, as if they had just gone for a leisurely stroll. Sorry, I really don't place a maggot in my eyes. And what exactly is a district maggot? A very long maggot. One, asked Long Chen. The Dragonblood warriors might be accustomed to Long Chen's character, but they still couldn't hold back a chuckle, especially seeing Zhao Kun's expression. Long Chen, you're too arrogant, roared Zhao Kun. It's not like I've only been arrogant for one or two days. There's no need to shout so loudly. You'll get used to it. Also, we've gotten tired of playing around. It's already noon, so we won't hold you back from your lunch. Go and find your food. We're going to rest. Long Chen waved his hand and everyone entered their tents. However, he ended up saying food extremely unclearly, as if he had a lisp. Somehow, it ended up sounding a mix between food and crap. Too. Well, in any case, he could eat whatever he wanted. Zhao Kun was indescribably infuriated, but he didn't dare attack. He forced down his anger. At the very least, Long Chen had returned. Long Chen, this is the Zhuanshan Dao sect's mining site. You should take your mission more seriously. I won't say anything about it this time, but next time, you definitely have to tell me before you leave. Other than that, thank Miss Men Qi for me. Long Chen didn't turn back. Don't be so courteous. Men Qi is too soft-hearted. Even seeing brutes like pigs and dogs in danger, she'll still go save them. Although you aren't as good as them, if you did die, you'd cause a stink. That wouldn't be good. We were only thinking of ourselves. Seeing Long Chen's figure disappear into a tent. Zhao Kun's face alternated from dark to white. Suddenly, he vomited a mouthful of blood and fell. The experts following him all let out startled cries and went to support him. They found that he had already fainted from rage. Returning to his own tent, he found that Men Qi was still in seclusion, 
while Tang Wan'er was guarding her. Tang Wan'er had already fully recovered. Therefore, Men Qi could focus all her attention on absorbing the heavenly Dao fruit. Long Chen didn't disturb them, and he set up his own tent nearby. Due to the large battle previously, they were only able to set up temporary tents. Long Chen had all the dragon blood warriors enter seclusion. He also didn't allow Zhao Kun to dig out the mines. He had the mines just stay buried, because then there was no mining, and there was no need to guard them. To dig out all the ground that had buried the mines was an extremely difficult matter and very time-consuming. This action of his ended up causing Zhao Kun to stumble. He wanted to take the black gold ore for himself, but Long Chen wouldn't let him. Those ores were for Xianchen weapons, and ordinary spatial rings were unable to store them because they were too heavy. As a result, the ore would all be left just above the mine after it was dug up. The Dao sect would send experts to transport the ore back every few hundred years. Zhao Kun wanted to take that ore for himself, while Long Chen also wanted to take the ore that was money, and he was lacking that right now. So Long Chen didn't touch the ore, and he also didn't allow the Zhao family to touch the ore if they wanted to move the ore. They needed to use cards, but Long Chen didn't need to do that. He could directly send them into the primal chaos space. Unfortunately, even if they dug up the mines, Long Chen wouldn't dare take the ore right now. So it was best to just leave them underground and have them peacefully wait for the day he took them. Long Chen also entered seclusion, but he wasn't doing it to cultivate. He no longer needed to cultivate. After advancing to meridian opening, the accumulated energy of the bone tempering pills had caused his cultivation base to rapidly advance. He was the same as the other dragon blood warriors, but he had consumed hundreds of times the bone tempering pills that they had, so he had accumulated even more medicinal energy. The reason the Dragon Blood Warriors' cultivation bases had advanced so explosively was because they had accumulated too much medicinal energy. Not only had they fully tempered their bones, but in the Meridian Opening Realm, that energy had erupted a second time, almost bringing them directly to the Xianchen Realm. Long Chen was pretty much the same. He had advanced even faster, but the difference was that he had experienced several immense battles during that time, so no flaw had appeared in his foundation. Right now, he was just patiently waiting. He was waiting for the Dragon Blood Warriors to completely steady their cultivation bases, and he was waiting for enemies to arrive. Seven days later, Men Qi finally came out. Long Chen was delighted to see that Men Qi had also become a celestial. That meant the heavenly Dao fruits really were 100% effective on anyone that wasn't him. In other words, as long as he had enough heavenly Dao fruits, he really could create a terrifying army of celestials. Furthermore, he found that Men Qi was the same as Tang Wan'er, and even after summoning her cry of the heavenly Deos, he didn't feel any expulsion. Men Qi and Tang Wan'er were now both at the peak of Meridian opening, but the two of them were still a bit away from their tribulations. The thing that made Long Chen speechless was that they actually knew what day their tribulations would come. Celestials could clearly feel what day their tribulations would come. The heavens truly treated them well. During this time, Long Chen was extremely relaxed. He laughed and talked with these two beauties cheerfully. But after another few days, he suddenly frowned. What is it? Seeing Long Chen's laughter suddenly pause halfway, Men Qi and Tang Wan'er were startled. Our enemies have already come. I can feel an extremely great pressure, said Long Chen solemnly. Men Qi was flabbergasted. She looked at Tang Wan'er, and seeing Tang Wan'er half leaning on his body, her chest on Long Chen's arm, it did seem like the pressure wasn't little. Scoundrel. You're once more acting immorally. Tang Wan'er viciously pinched him. Aya, I'm being serious. Cried Long Chen. It'd be strange if anyone believed you. Said Tang Wan'er. Long Chen was speechless. He had gotten so used to teasing Tang Wan'er that now that he told the truth. She treated it as a joke. He truly sensed a fierce hostility. That feeling should mean there were experts spying on them from a distance. As his cultivation base grew. And since he had condensed the third star. His spiritual perception continued to grow sharper. He could easily sense hostility. In the past few days, he had sensed hostility as well, and it had clearly been from several different people. Long Chen, are you being serious? You aren't joking. Finally, seeing how solemn Long Chen appeared, Tang Wan'er's confidence flagged. I really am being serious, said Long Chen. Men Qi and Tang Wan'er were startled, but then Long Chen continued with, seriously joking, you bastard. I just knew you were a rotten egg. Tang Wan'er charged forward, reached toward his throat. Long Chen leaned back, and Tang Wan'er ended up not reacting in time, immediately charging into Long Chen's embrace. 
Aya, you female rogue. Hurry and release me. I won't submit to you. Long Chen cried as he struggled to free himself from Tang Wan'er. But no matter how hard he tried, he was unable to escape from her. He pushed against different parts of her body, trying to find the right spot to push her off. A-H-H-H. Tang Wan'er suddenly screamed as Long Chen's roving hands had touched one of her sensitive places, and she hastily jumped out from Long Chen's embrace, her face as red as an apple, a trace of panic in her eyes. Even once Tang Wan'er had leaked off, Long Chen seemed to be unaware. His eyes were closed, and he continued to flail, continuously repeating, I would rather die than give you my purity. Men Qi shook her head and sighed. Wan'er, how many times have I told you? Fighting with Long Chen will always cause you to lose. Boom. Tang Wan'er was just about to reply when heaven and earth violently trembled. A bizarre pressure suddenly filled the entire mining site. Long Chen hastily left his tent. He saw a blue dome of light had appeared in the sky, covering the entire mining region. In fact, even Chaos City seemed to be covered by it. What is it? Cried Tang Wan'er. A formation. It has sealed off the entire Chaos region. He. They've caught us. Long Chen narrowed his eyes at the blue light curtain. The corrupt path had truly invested a great deal in this. Activating such a terrifying formation cost a great deal of money. Looks like they treat us as a must-have. Side Men Qi. This formation's range was so wide, and its power was incomparably terrifying. That must have cost an ocean's worth of resources. Don't worry, I would rather die than give my pure body to them. Long Chen clenched his fists. Dislikable. Even at this time, you're still not serious. Rebuked Men Qi. Long Chen never forgot to joke. No matter what time it was, why must I be serious? They don't have the strength. Now we're already strong enough. So why do we have to be afraid of them? Laughed Long Chen. That's true. We have two celestials, and each of the Dragon Blood Warriors has advanced to the Xi'anchen realm. There's also you. We definitely are already extremely powerful. Tang Wan'er was full of battle intent. It seemed she was also very warlike inside. All the Dragon Blood Warriors gathered. Not one of them was panicked or afraid, which made Long Chen nod. After the tempering of the Heavenly Tribulation, their Dao hearts had become as stable as boulders. Boom. Suddenly. A tide of people charged through the formation. Chapter 638 Eight Grand Celestials Translator Born to be enemy attack. A fierce cry rang out. The tide-like corrupt experts were all in black robes. Anyone that was in their path was immediately killed. Their blood flying through the air. It was unknown just how many of them there were. With their sharp blades, they killed any righteous experts they ran into. Whether they were miners, disciples, or guards, they were indiscriminately killed. The corrupt experts were like a mass of fiends, their crazy laughter filling the air. Miserable screams and the sinister laughter from the corrupt experts alternated. Although it was daytime, people felt a chill as if they had stepped into hell on earth. What are they doing? Do they want to kill all the righteous experts? Men Qi watched this scene with horror. It seems so. They've completely sealed this region. Even Chaos City is included. That means they're already prepared to kill everyone from the righteous path here. Right now. This place is a huge prison, and they're hunting. Long Chen curled his lips. Have they gone crazy? They're going back on the agreement between the righteous and corrupt paths, asked Gu Yang. TCH. What are agreements? That agreement was just some senseless game they came up with when they were both injured and powerless. Back then, they thought Phoenix Blood Black Gold might appear here. As a result, both paths' core strengths ended up injured, and they had no choice but to make an agreement. But now that all the black gold ore has been almost mined away and not the slightest bit of the phoenix blood black gold has been found, this place has little value to them. Now, it's simply time for them to squeeze the final bit of profit out from here. The corrupt path will kill any members of the righteous path and then take away the last batch of ore as long as they leave no living witnesses, who will come out to testify that it was done by the corrupt path? The current corrupt path has also learned from the righteous path to play the game of evidence. He. They both are truly ridiculous, sneered Long Chen. Everyone turned cold. If it really was like this, then these corrupt experts would not stop until they were all concentrated on Zhuanshan Dao sect's mining site. Boss, should we break out of their encirclement? Asked Guo Ran. Break out of their encirclement? Don't you see their huge formation? It's only there because they refuse to allow us to do that. Do you think the corrupt path is only full of idiots? Long Chen was somewhat speechless. Even the smart Guo Ran had become a fool now. The Zhuanshan Dao sect's experts and miners were all standing there in horror, looking in the distance. Many of them were already completely filled with despair. 
They knew that they really were doomed today. However, Zhao Kun was standing at the front, looking icily at Long Chen and the others. There was a faint pleased smile on his face. Boss, what should we do? Should we go save them? Each one of them is an extra bit of strength. Gu Yang looked at the righteous disciples fleeing from the corrupt path. The corrupt path had sent an incredible number of people. They numbered in the tens of thousands. Obviously, they had made their determination not to let a single person escape. Tens of thousands of Xi'anshan experts with quite a few being half step C expansion. That power was truly shocking. Do you really think they'd stand by your side to face our enemies? Have you forgotten how those people sneered at us in Chaos City? Did you forget how when we were attacked, countless idiots merely used photographic jades to record the excitement? If we pulled such people onto our side, they wouldn't be able to help us at all. On the other hand, we'd have to worry about them stabbing us in the back, said Long Chen. Now that they thought about it, that was definitely true. These selfish, apathetic people would only cause their total power to drop if they joined. In the distance, Chaos City was in complete chaos. Countless screams rang out. The corrupt experts gradually moved in from the outer region, sweeping through the mining region. They killed anyone they saw. Brothers, make your preparations. Warm up a bit. In a bit, we'll have a fierce battle. Remember our previous battle against the corrupt path from back in the 108th monastery. At that time, we still had so many brothers. But afterward, many of our brothers ended up lost forever. Now those idiots from the corrupt path have come again. They want to take more of our brothers from us. Tell me, what should we do? Shouted Long Chen. Kill. 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 The dragon blood warriors had all followed Long Chen since the 108th monastery. Many of their close brothers had been killed by the corrupt path. Thinking of those brothers who had died so miserably by their side, their eyes turned scarlet. It was as if that tragic scene had occurred only yesterday. That kind of pain could never be forgotten. The Dragonblood Legion's roars rang out louder and louder. Their fury seemed like it could ignite the air. Seeing that, Zhao Kun sneered. In the face of absolute power, anything was useless. Those corrupt experts were like a huge wave surging over here. As their circle shrunk, their power grew more concentrated. Every single one of them would reach the Zhuanshan Dao sects mining region in less than an hour. However, none of them approached. They all stopped a thousand miles away, completely surrounding them. At this distance, Long Chen could see that these Xi'anshan experts were all very young. Most likely, none of them had reached their thirties. Long Chen instantly understood that the corrupt path was using this as a chance to temper their elite disciples. Slaughter was the fastest way to cultivate for corrupt experts. It seemed their operation today was to be extremely profitable. Suddenly, their encirclement opened, and a group of eight people walked out. Seeing those eight people, the corrupt experts immediately let out a heaven-shaking cheer. There were seven men and one bewitching woman. Her aura was exceptionally powerful. As she walked, her aura seemed to cause the entire space to tremble, making people feel endless terror. Celestials? And eight of them? They really look favorably on me. Long Chen laughed. Eight celestials had appeared at the same time. The Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples all felt like it was hard to breathe, and even their bodies quivered uncontrollably. But the Dragonblood warriors didn't feel any fear. The intimidating pressure of celestials did not affect them. When they had undergone their tribulations, even that heavenly fury hadn't been able to do anything to them. This little bit of pressure was nothing. At the same time, they realized why Long Chen had had them infuriate the heavenly tribulation to temper them. It wasn't just to temper their bodies, but also their souls. Ordinary people wouldn't even be able to summon up the courage to fight celestials, but they were able to resist that suffocating aura. That was the difference. Seeing these eight people, Zhao Kun suddenly laughed, startling everyone. Zhao Kun actually walked over to their side and said to Long Chen, Long Chen, today you'll definitely die. Zhao Kun's actions caused everyone to be flabbergasted. Even the corrupt disciples were dumbfounded. Long Chen indifferently looked at him. No way, your Zhao family was so brazen as to collude with the corrupt path? If news of that gets out, wouldn't your entire Zhao family be expelled from the Zhuanshan Dao sect? If it gets out? Ha ha ha, how would that happen? Today, not one of you should even think about leaving alive. So what if my Zhao family colluded with the corrupt path? Long Chen, today, you'll definitely die. Even if you grow wings, this grand formation won't let you escape. Sneered Zhao Kahn. Zhao Kahn, do you understand that your actions today are equivalent to betraying the entire righteous path? Do you really have no qualms? Asked Long Chen. Betraying the righteous path? He, 
Just because you say it, it won't make it true. Pill Valley is the true ruler of this world, and the Pill Tower is the commander. With the support of the Pill Tower, who would my Sao family be afraid of? He, you'll soon die. So I don't mind telling you. Did you think it was only my Sao family that contributed to sending you here? He, the other three families also received benefits from the Pill Tower. Otherwise, why would the Shu family simply allow you to jump into a clear trap? Did you think the Shu family are all good people? Keep dreaming. Shu Wuhan's grace toward you is useless. She doesn't control the Shu family. In fact, many in the Shu family find Shu Wuhan unlikable. How is it? Is your heart cold now? Zhao Kun smiled icily at Long Chen, extremely pleased with himself. Long Chen was also smiling. This fellow's words were extremely important. He had long since secretly activated a photographic jade just for this. Although his words couldn't count as direct proof for the entire Zhao family, it was enough. As long as he transmitted these images out, whether it was the Zhao family or the Pill Tower, they would all have to pay their price. That was especially true of the Pill Tower. Last time, in the Jiuli secret realm, Huo Wufang had ordered the experts of both paths to attack Long Chen. That was a grave crime, and they had been denounced by countless righteous experts. The righteous experts weren't the strongest, but their stern declarations and fierce criticizations brought a great deal of pressure to the Pill Tower. It was unknown how many benefits the Pill Tower had been forced to spit out in order to appease everyone. They were lucky that the fiercest criticizers were not from the large sects, so they didn't lose too much money before the matter ended. However, not long after that, the Huaian sect's bone-tempering pills had appeared, and the matter of their fake pills caused huge waves. That huge turbulence had made it so that the Huo family hadn't been able to catch a breath for a long time. It was only months later that they managed to discuss this topic with Long Chen. As a result, Long Chen hadn't given them any face, directly provoking the Huo family. As a result, they had decided Long Chen had to die, or the Huo family's prestige would truly drop to the ground. What are you still waiting for? Kill Long Chen. Zhao Kun waved his hand, his meaning that the eight of them should attack. PFFT. Blood flu. A scorpion tail whip pierced straight through Zhao Kun's chest. Chapter 639 Killing a Celestial with a Single Blow Translator Born to be a dark red whip pierced through Zhao Kun's back and came out of his chest. Zhao Kun was bewildered. He started to turn back to see who had attacked him. But a powerful force surged through the whip, and he didn't even have a chance to make a sound before exploding into a bloody mist. Who is this idiot? The woman in the group of eight slowly withdrew her whip. He should be the person to receive us. It seems he didn't have the slightest use but he still dared to order us around. The righteous path really is full of idiots, said one of the celestials indifferently. Zhao Kun's death horrified the elder from the Zhao family. You, how could you kill your own people? Our own people? Who do you think you are to be called that? Kill yourself, said the woman. What horrified everyone was that as soon as she said that, the elder from the Zhao family took out his sword and cut off his own head without hesitation. His blood splattered over the people around him. This Zhao family elder was clearly a late Xi'anshan expert, but a single word from this woman had caused him to kill himself. Was she a devil? What terrifying soul arts. Long Chen was also shocked. He hadn't seen the woman use any techniques, but with just a look, she instantly controlled the elder's mind, causing him to kill himself without hesitation. She was definitely terrifying. If the Dragonblood Legion was forced to face her, it would be troublesome. Although the Dragonblood warriors all had stable wills, this woman's soul energy was too terrifying. Once she used her spiritual attacks, they wouldn't be able to resist. That made Long Chen's heart sink. He had to kill this woman immediately, or the Dragonblood warriors would instantly die at her hands. It's a possession, whispered Men Qi. She had sensed that this woman's body didn't perfectly match her soul. A powerful expert soul had clearly seized her body. That expert's spiritual strength might be powerful but it hadn't reached the point where Men Qi was terrified. It was just that the expert's control over her spiritual strength had reached a practically perfect level. Men Qi was also an expert at controlling the soul. To have this level of control, this woman's body definitely contained an old monster who had lived for an unknown number of years. Leave this person to me, said Men Qi confidently. She could see the worry in his eyes. Are you sure? Don't worry. Although I can't say that I can definitely beat her. I guarantee I won't lose. Long Chen nodded. Men Qi's control over her spiritual strength was something he would never be able to catch up to. There was no one better than Men Qi to handle this woman. You are Long Chen. 
that woman suddenly turned toward Long Chen, sizing him up. Guilty as charged. She frowned slightly. Only in the mid-meridian opening realm. Those old fellows really made a huge deal out of nothing. Just for someone like you. They made all of us calm. Their brains must have been eaten by worms. I hear you once managed to defeat Chiringa Celestial. Your information is very accurate. Replied Long Chen. The woman looked up and down at him. And then shook her head. I have no interest in this weakling. Who wants him? The woman looked at the other Celestials. She was clearly their leader. The others also frowned slightly at Long Chen. Obviously. They also disdained to attack him. Fine. I'll do it. I'm not picky about my food. Suddenly. An extremely wizened man walked out. He looked like he was skin and bones as if a light breeze would make him topple over. But Long Chen knew that many of the corrupt experts were this thin. This was actually a kind of secret technique to condense the power of the flesh within the bones. That made their bones even harder than Xi'anshan weapons. Furthermore, this person's sinister aura gave off boundless pressure. With each step, the ground trembled. Tell everyone that when the battle starts, they're to do their best to break out of the enclosure and get some distance from the battlefield. Long Chen whispered into Menki's ear. He had Menki send spiritual messages to everyone. He then walked toward the wizened celestial. I hear you have a female celestial here? Once I kill you, I'll go meet her. The wizened man sneered and then shot toward Long Chen. The wizened man's punch caused a loud rumbling, like a hammer was smashing the ground. His fist was covered in blood red runes, and Long Chen sensed endless resentment from them. In that instant, Long Chen understood that this fellow had used other people's life energy and resentment to condense his own special runes. This attack of his was extremely terrifying. A thunder force covered hand grabbed the wizened man's fist. The ground instantly split apart, causing dust to fill the air and block everyone's vision. PFFT. Within that dust, people heard what sounded like something piercing through flesh. When the dust scattered, they all saw a stupefying scene. Long Chen's left hand was still clenching the wizened man's fist, but his right arm was holding a lightning spear that had pierced through the wizened man's chest. His terrifying thunder force had instantly turned all the wizened man's insides to dust. In your next life, remember not to be careless when you don't know your opponent's true strength. That will cause you to die. His lightning spear suddenly blossomed with light, and before the wizened man could even react, he was blown into a bloody mist. He was killed with one attack? Following the wizened man's death, his core runes appeared in the sky. Long Chen's spear was replaced with a blood-red saber that shattered those runes. Only once they saw those runes did the other corrupt celestials react. The wizened man had truly been killed. Long Chen rested his saber on his shoulder. His hair and robes fluttered. The current Long Chen seemed like an unsheathed divine sword. Like a completely different person. Does anyone else want to try me? Said Long Chen icily. His voice sounded like it had come from the depths of hell. The corrupt celestial's expressions completely changed. The woman's expression was exceptionally ugly. Originally, a total of nine celestials had been part of this operation to kill Long Chen. This was actually a trial for the nine celestials. The main point of which was to practice their cooperation. The woman was the leader of this operation. This entire plan had been made by her. Furthermore, she had the power to make it so the other celestials had to listen to her. This should have been a simple trial without any mishaps. But there had been one idiot who had been closest to the chaos region. And having arrived early, he had wanted to kill Long Chen on his own. As a result, he was slaughtered by Tang Wan'er. Zhao Kun had sent them the news that it was Tang Wan'er who had defeated the Celestial. Long Chen had merely given him a simple killing blow. That had caused them to become careless toward Long Chen. As a result, this carelessness caused another Celestial to die before he even managed to summon his manifestation. Bastard. You actually acted like the pig to kill the tiger. Everyone, kill him together. We definitely can't let any more mishaps occur. The corrupt woman's eyes suddenly lit up with a demonic violet light. Long Chen felt his hair stand on end as if an invisible blade was currently stabbing toward him. Underworld Soul Thorn. Suddenly, a translucent arrow shot straight toward the corrupt woman. There's actually a soul cultivator. The corrupt woman had no choice but to give up her attack on Long Chen. Quickly forming hand seals. A huge shield appeared in front of her. The two spiritual techniques collided in the air. Ripples appeared in the space around them, causing the people nearby to feel an intense pain in their souls. The corrupt woman hadn't expected a terrifying soul cultivator to also be hiding here, startling and infuriating her. This isn't a good place to fight. Let's switch locations. She snorted coldly and suddenly rushed into the distance. Obviously, 
She didn't want her own attacks to affect the other Celestials. She wanted to let Menki away. Coincidentally, that was also what Menki wanted. As Menki and the corrupt woman rushed into the distance, the Dragonblood warriors also rushed away. They wanted to get further away from Long Chen. The others who had been standing there in shock also fled when they saw the Dragonblood warriors take action. They hoped to take advantage of the chaos to run, but the surrounding corrupt army had completely surrounded this region. How could they possibly escape? The corrupt disciples all smiled sinisterly upon seeing the Dragonblood warriors run. They were only in the Meridian opening realm. They were basically cabbages that they could cut down however they wanted. Kill. The corrupt experts roared, and their weapons shone coldly. Killing people was what they liked the most. Buzz. Suddenly, the Dragonblood warriors auras erupted, and their terrifying Xianchen auras caused the corrupt path to be dumbfounded. Their sharp weapons slashed down. They hid their auras. One of the corrupt experts' horrified cry was cut off halfway as he was blown apart by Sword Key. They all underwent complete tempering, or there's no way their auras would be this powerful. The Dragonblood warriors' weapons blew apart their enemies. These powerful Xianchen experts were like crops they harvested as they wished. They didn't have the slightest ability to resist. Having undergone complete tempering, the Dragonblood warriors had been able to kill Xianchen experts at Meridian Opening. Now that they were also Xianchen experts, they slaughtered them easily. The instant both sides collided, the corrupt path sustained huge losses, flabbergasting them. Even the Celestials were dumbfounded. Just what kind of army was this? How could they all have undergone complete tempering? Didn't only peerless geniuses have the qualifications to undergo complete tempering? Two of you, go kill those people. The other four, kill Long Chen. A muscular celestial shouted, and summoning his cry of the heavenly deos, he charged at Long Chen. Chapter 640 Fighting the Corrupt Army Translator Born to be the muscular corrupt celestial shouted coldly. Two celestials immediately rushed toward the Dragonblood Legion. Other than the sole cultivator celestial, his position was clearly the highest. Stay behind. Suddenly, wind blades filled the sky. Tang Wan'er summoned her cry of the heavenly deos, blocking the two of them. Millions of wind blades surged behind her, looking like a sea of wind blades that set off her beauty. Following her hand seals, the sea of wind blades streamed toward the two corrupt celestials like two dragons. The two of them had never seen such heavenly deo runes. Those runes themselves possessed attacking power and were not purely assistive runes like theirs. They shouted, erupting with their greatest power to fight with Tang Wan Er. Explosions rocked the land, and terrifying astral winds spread in every direction. Quick, kill him. We can't allow there to be too many casualties, or we won't be able to give an explanation. Seeing that Tang Wan Er was able to block both Celestials, the muscular Celestial's expression changed completely. A huge golden spike club appeared in his hands, and he smashed it at Long Chen. His aura completely erupted, and endless runes swirled around him. His aura was incredibly powerful, and it seemed like space would explode from his attack. The other three Celestials also didn't hesitate. They directly released their manifestations, attacking Long Chen. Four against one? You really look favorably on me. Divine Ring. A three-colored Divine Ring appeared behind Long Chen. A terrifying pressure soared into the sky. When Long Chen's saber collided with the muscular Celestial's club, it caused an incredibly loud explosive sound. The muscular Celestial's expression changed. His arms actually felt numb from this collision, and he was forced back several meters. In terms of strength, Long Chen suppressed him. It had to be known that he was a brute force kind of cultivator. Otherwise, he wouldn't use such a heavy spiked club. He had never met someone who was his match in strength. Until today, amongst people who use spiked clubs, you're the weakest one I know, said Long Chen. Seeing that club, an even larger figure appeared in his mind. He didn't know where that fellow was nowadays. Long Chen sneered. I'll let you all see what true strength is. He gripped his saber with both hands, and all his energy poured into it. His saber slashed out like lightning. This slash not only contained his physical strength, but also his undefeatable will. It was valiant and fierce and incomparably domineering. Boom. The four corrupt celestials were actually sent flying by Long Chen's attack. The weakest one of them actually tumbled to the ground, appearing extremely miserable. Guo Ran was currently directing the Dragonblood Legion in the battle. Although these corrupt experts were practically flooding over them, they weren't able to pose any threat to them. He was constantly paying attention to Long Chen's side. Seeing Long Chen send all his opponents flying, he felt like his blood was boiling. Brothers. Do you see? Do you see our boss? 
Even when Celestials see him, they have to cower in terror. We can't make him look bad. Kill them all. It's not just for our own glory, but for those brothers who once battled side by side with us. They aren't dead. They are still by our side as we fight. Kill. Fighting alongside Long Chen always caused the Dragonblood Warriors' blood to heat up. Along with Guo Ran's fierce shout, the Dragonblood Warriors roared. Kill. Their furious roars came wave after wave, their auras growing even fiercer. They were completely unstoppable, despite the corrupt path outnumbering them. Each one of them was terrified by their killing intent. It was like they weren't facing fellow humans but death gods that had come to wreak their lives. They had no emotions. They were simply fierce, domineering warriors. What they didn't know was that after undergoing that terrifying heavenly tribulation, the Dragonblood Warriors hadn't just undergone a physical transformation. There was now also an arrogance within them that dared to fight even against the heavens. Cultivators all tried to comply with the heavens, trying to comprehend the heavenly deos, which madmen would dare fight against the heavens. The sight of Long Chen practically treating heavenly tribulation as a game, not even placing the heavenly deos in his eyes, ignoring the fury of the heavens, had been deeply imprinted in the hearts of the dragonblood warriors. They no longer believed in the heavens, they believed in their boss. The heavens hadn't given them anything. The fact that they had gone from ordinary cultivators to unrevealed Xi'anchen experts was because of Long Chen. So they trusted that the path Long Chen pointed out for them was the right path. If Long Chen could fight against the heavens, then they also wouldn't hesitate to fight against the heavens with him. As a result, they unconsciously became even more domineering, and this kind of formless energy was able to defeat Turing their opponent's confidence. It was even more terrifying than killing intent. Boom. Suddenly. Gu Yang was forced back by a corrupt expert, startling Guo Ran. He was startled to see that this elder's cultivation base was at half step C expansion. It seemed that there were quite a few hidden elders amongst these young corrupt disciples who were there to protect them from the unexpected. Seeing how fierce the Dragonblood Legion was, they had no choice but to take action. Fourth Corps, squad leaders, kill him, shouted Guo Ran. The Dragonblood Legion was composed of 360 people. They had been split into four cores. The four cores were led by their captains, Gu Yang, Li Qi, Song Mingguan, and Yu Zifeng. Each of them was in charge of 90 people, and every 10 people also had a squad leader. The squad leaders were stronger than the others, and under Guo Ran's orders, the nine squad leaders of the fourth cores immediately took out golden crossbows and shot arrows at the half. Step C expansion expert Novaloon.com This expert had only just forced Gu Yang back when he sensed the danger. He had used his full strength just now, and he was still not recovered from his surprise that he hadn't even managed to injure Gu Yang. He was just about to attack him again to ruin the Dragonblood Legion's rhythm when his scalp turned numb. Die. Nine golden lights shot toward him, sealing any of his retreat paths. The corrupt elder was horrified to find that no matter how he dodged, he would have to take two arrows. As a result, in his indecision, three golden lights pierced through his body. The half step C expansion expert immediately exploded. And that wasn't all. The golden arrows continued past him, cutting lines of deaths in the corrupt army. Any corrupt experts struck by the golden arrows would be killed. After all, these crossbows and arrows had been made out of treasure item fragments by Guo Ran. Although he wasted 99% of their power, treasure items were still treasure items. Even their fragments possessed such terrifying power. This was practically an earth shattering power. Damn. This thing really is powerful. If another half step C expansion expert appears, directly shoot them. Seeing how his inventions possessed such shocking power, Guo Ran was incomparably delighted. This felt even better than personally killing enemies. The only ones who could pose any threat to the Dragonblood Legion were half step C expansion experts. But Guo Ran began to point them out before they even came up to attack. They were quickly killed under Guo Ran's orders. The Dragonblood Legion was like tigers with wings charging their way through the corrupt army. Corpses began to pile up. In the distance, an illusory figure had appeared behind Menki. That illusory figure was made of countless heavenly Deo runes, and her terrifying spiritual strength caused the space around her to twist. The corrupt soul cultivator had also summoned her cry of the heavenly Deos. At the same time, her whip cracked through the air rapidly. The whip was actually a rare soul item, but Menki was surrounded by golden petals and needles. That was the sole item Guo Ran had used all his sweat and blood in order to create. It was finally put to good use. Although Menki's sole item was smaller, that allowed it to be more nimble and faster. Furthermore, 
It was created out of many parts which allowed her to get an advantage in terms of weapons. Their fierce battle was incredibly dangerous. Soul energy surged and soul items collided. On Tang Wanner's side, even one against two, her wind blades caused her opponents to be completely flustered. They were completely caught within the domain of her wind blades. Her wind blades were too terrifying. Each one of them posed a fatal danger to them. But while Tang Wanner might appear extremely mighty, this was also extremely taxing on her. As for the two corrupt celestials, they weren't idiots. They directly focused on defense, saving their core energy. Tang Wanner's fierce tempest of attacks wouldn't be able to last long. They were waiting for the moment her core energy ran out to give her a fatal counterattack. The fiercest battle was Long Chen's. The muscular celestial had used some sort of secret technique. A blood-colored mark had appeared on his forehead, and blood dripped sinisterly from its eyes. His strength had immediately risen to a new level. The other celestials had also realized that today was no longer some simple tempering. If they didn't go all out, then they really might die. They all released their greatest power against Long Chen. Long Chen's saber repeatedly slashed through the air, each one of his moves incomparably vicious. Even the corrupt experts had never encountered such a vicious fighting style. He was practically suicidal. Each one of his moves were ones that would cause injury to both sides. They felt a chill. Long Chen was too vicious. His fighting style was clearly one of mutual destruction, but his expression was still completely calm, making them think he was just faking in order to intimidate them. Suddenly, one of the corrupt expert swords stabbed toward Long Chen's back. Long Chen had just blocked one person's attack, and he had no time to dodge. Instead, his saber slashed toward that person's waist. It was another mutual destruction attack. Fuck. Come at me. I'm not going to dodge this time. If you have the guts, then just try it. The corrupt expert roared furiously, deciding not to change his attack this time. His sword continued to pierce toward Long Chen's back. 